Hello, everyone. Do I do I look eighties enough? Do I look Cold War non-binary enough? I I this is my this is my Belle cosplay because I think Belle is the main d main danger <laughs> in Cold War. That's what I heard. So I am I am in a leather jacket. It's worn. It's torn. I am in a I'm in. A, is this 80s shirt i think it's 80s shirt i didn't i so i so um i saw adler and i was like mm. looks 80s enough hi shadow hi seven 11 months you you did it you got and done it 11 months that's big that, that's big for us this is the, this is the commitment also seven um you i don't know why i'm doing this this is literally me doing this i'm not doing this to you i'm doing this to my brain to be like come on work um my you kept on talking about the french vanilla in duncan and i found a, like a ground coffee with the artificial like french vanilla flavor in it i think it's as close as i'll get to it it was so good it's so good i made a cold brew out of it primo very very good and it has peanuts on it so oh uh, sorry let me let me hi pronto hi oh Oog, Oog is here hi oli hi oli how are you doing i'm so sorry oli i'm so sorry i haven't responded to you i genuinely um things have been i mean i talked about it on the last stream so i don't want to really reiterate stuff but things have been really bad <laughs> and then when somebody asks me like how are you and i'm like Oh my god, I, I can't unload. I absolutely cannot unload on anybody right now because I will break. <laughs> also, yeah, 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 I got beanies. It was it was beans. I mean, I only get beans now because I have my own grinder. Grinder? I don't even know her. Um, it took me forever um, to stream. I waited for so long. I've been wanting to stream so badly. If the audio settings are a bit off, Streamlabs keeps on messing up everything for me. Streamlabs and I'm sorry, I love Logitech, but Logitech G Hub thing? What's going on with that? Who did this to me? Who did this to everyone who owns a Logitech product? I have the worst thing is I have a camera, a keyboard, and a mouse from Logitech. And I have everything is on the that flipping hub. Oh I can't. Also, hi Thunder. The outfit is sick. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, let me let me let me let me keep my i can't fit them in my head is too big hello how can i can i um interest you in some cold war crimes you know um it's uh it's time for the eighth crisis with ronald reagan reigning isn't that exciting for everyone it's not it's really not <laughs> also ah yeah I'll, I'm, I'll i'll respond i'll respond i'm so sorry um where did i find this jacket it's so nice thank you so much pronto i got it at a vintage shop for a tenner the thing is like i bought it and i was like you know what this is so comfy i i i put a sticker oh um it was a donation i like i did a donation something it might have been like a loris thing i don't remember but i did a donation thing and they put a sticker on here and i was like this is so cute i like it it looks so nice and then the sticker started peeling and I was like, oh, okay, like it's, it's already peeling off, I'll get it. And I peeled it and you can see it peeled a bit of leather off and I'm just there like, oh, wait, I could, you know what I could do? Because my incredibly talented best friend did this, a Cortac patch. Yes, representing my boy Kunis. I could, I could sew it on. I should do that. Anyway, yeah, I keep this patch on my desk to remember, to, to make me remember that life is good, God is good, Anna's good. Look how pretty it is. Sorry. I got, yeah. It's so pretty, isn't it? I love it. Ah, oh. wait. Ba 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 ba. Got rudely interrupted by Anna, so I don't know if you respond to my comment. I might have, but I, I should have gone for a Soviet babushka look. I, I mean, it's not, it's not only Soviet, you know, Paul, I guess. I guess Poland was under the Soviet regime, so I guess it's still Soviet enough. <laughs> Aww. 
You're here for my YouTube. Love my content on Modern Warfare 2. The best part was Sylvan Ghost flirting. Ah, bless you. I really need to get to editing stuff. I'll be honest. Uh, it's because things have been so bad over here. Like, genuine. I'm not, again, not getting into it again because I will cry. And this is vibes. This is good vibes only. I mean, you know, I don't. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a positive space. If you want to get your feelings out, that's okay. But I'm not going to do that. I am holding it in. Unless it's about the soap and ghost that I'm pouring it out or Star Wars. God, Ahsoka. Anyway, I can't get I can't get distracted. I need to stop this. <laughs> um, yeah, I I would like to edit more. Is because um I edited so much during winter because I didn't really want to go out to exercise. So I just set up my treadmill, put it under the desk. I was on my treadmill and then I was editing. So that was very um. Oh fuck. <laughs> I still have no seven. Don't click on it. It's um. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. It's still from uh, the cult of lamb. Don't don't click on it. It just wastes your bit. This and shit. Let me let me quickly just check my set. No, I have. I don't want to look at myself. Go, let me let me go into settings. Uh, bu 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 please let me fix this. I don't want anybody to waste their bits. Not bits, the points. That's... Can we can we just agree not to click it? I don't know where it is. Channel! Yes. 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 Sorry. So, sorry, guys. Just just uh, hold up a second. Also, I'm sweating in this jacket. I will take it off in a second because I might die. Viewer rewards. Channel points. Uh, manage rewards and challenges. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, delete that. Uh, mark 21 is complete. Delete that. Send cold for my mark is complete. Okay. Okay, we're good. Nobody wastes their bits. No, stop that! Don't! Don't use up your points. <laughs> oh, you're playing Starfield and you have a non-binary character in Starfield. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Double war crimes. War crimes. Non-binary war crimes on war on monitor. And then non-binary space war crimes on the other monitor. I can't get into Starfield yet. I can't. I can't get into Starfield. It's on the Xbox, um, my, like um, Game Pass. It's on the Xbox Game Pass. So I got it. And my friend Adam bought me Baldur's Gate, and I'm looking at both of them. Like, if I play this, I will disappear. I will disappear forever, and nobody, and I mean nobody, will ever hear from me. Uh, you can give them back as long as you didn't mark redeems as complete. I, I, I did mark the redeems as complete. Fuck. Um. Uh, when I do, uh, is anybody interested in an art stream with recommendations? I'll give you two a freebie. If you mark as incomplete, they get the points back. Oh! And listen, okay. Water under the bridge. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I um, I, I, I um, I'm not a crook. I'm not a crook. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm a crook. Oh. I feel so bad now, but I gotta move on, otherwise. <laughs> you casually drop 900 just to make Squish dig up most streams. Squish, you make me squish. <laughs> you do make me squish. I'm very compact. Thank you so much. Oh, hi, Michael G. And also, hi. Er, uh, oh my god, Arigne, Arigne 05. That, yeah, yeah, Arigne, Arigne the fifth. Oh, the high? Yeah, a stream and a cod stream. It's Christmas, it's Christmas for everyone. Also, yes, Cyberpunk, the new. I've been watching uh, my roommate play it a bit, and it's been, it looks stunning. A and B. Can David Podshadwo drop the song? The song that's in the trailer 
for Phantom Liberty looks so good. Sorry, it doesn't look good. No, it looks great. It sounds so good. And they still haven't released it. They released like the behind the scenes making of the song. I want to listen to the full song. I've been listening to the, the one person who did like a cleaned up version of it on YouTube and I just need the song. I'm so sweaty, guys. I can't. No. No, I can't do it. I am literally sweating. Sorry, sorry, my beautiful letter coat. My glasses! I can't see without my glasses. I got news. I'm coming to you live from a meta quest too. Come in, darling. I've been expecting you. Also, oh, thank you so much for the sub, Ghost. You're a sweetie. I appreciate you. Tier one, two. I really need to do those flipping emotes because I feel bad. I need to do the emotes and I want to do the little sub icons and I keep on looking at them and I'm like, they're not good enough. Um, how is being live in Meta Quest 2? It's a very important squish diga in VR. <laughs> I love that. Just <laughs> I can make you squished in my VR. The future is here. Cold War is a great game. I am very excited for Cold War. Uh, that was the one, that's the reason why I started on the Black Ops series and I got down the, um, think of the numbers, Mason, call. Because, uh, I really want to play Cold War because I saw screenshots in it. I saw Adler. I saw, I saw, I saw Adler in it and I think, um, I think he looks great. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna say anything. But his, his aesthetic is so strong. I mean, sorry, I have, these are, they are not like the, the precise Adler glasses, but... They're aviators. I, I I tried to find the proper ones. They're so expensive. There's no way that I listen. If you will find me spending more than five quid, usually a tenner. If I really like a pair of sunglasses, it's about it. I just buy them like secondhand. So they fit the vibes. Thank you so much for us. Uh, also, hello, for us. How are you doing? Oh, thank god I got here. I was out to groom my car. It's been... It... Sorry. Um, it's been a while since you watched my streams. Well, I'm so glad to have you, prisoner, and I'm so glad your cat is groomed and happy. I need to groom mine probably now. I keep on... Like, she loves getting brushed. She hates having a bath, but sometimes she just rolls in litter. I'm like, I have no choice but to do this to you. I'm so sorry. You missed the last stream, so oh, I'm. Don't worry about it. I'm. I'm happy to have you here. Yeah, last stream was very sudden, and it was kind of like I'm trying to get back into streaming again, just because I love doing it so much. It makes me feel so happy. But with everything that was happening in my life recently, it's been hard. It's been really hard to just like to exist. And also, I've been ill. And also, sorry, you're looking at somebody who is a. Uh, medically diagnosed with IBS. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. It's not great. Uh, but they're also saying, no, it can't be something worse. I'm like, oh, love that, love it. They're like, it's most likely. I'm just like, oh, great, fantastic. I can't eat. I eat like toddler portions. No, 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 I'll, I'll, I eat like toddler portions of stuff. And then once I like my body starts shutting down, I'm like, I just need a big meal. I need to like, and I put a bunch of stuff in the blender and then I'm like, just just eat a, like a huge smoothie with a bunch of peanut butter in it and i'm like i i need this energy otherwise i will collapse i did i did like i didn't lose consciousness but i did like trip a couple times because it was just my i don't know it's it's not great not great but you gotta keep on living and you gotta play cold war call of duty so that's why i'm here okay Oh, hi, Smoke Ghost! My Oakleys are vibe. $120 worth every penny. I think... No, I think there's some, like, fantastic sunglasses. Um, I just know... I, I'm, like, 90% sure if I got, a, like, a lovely expensive pair of sunglasses, I would sit on them. I'll sit on them and I'll crack them. Like, it's just my luck. I... Even even though I have, like, cases when I have sunglasses... I'm gonna fidget with these sunglasses now because they're in front of me and my hands go... Mm -hmm something to play with um yeah i just know i just know my luck i know how i am i know how how much uh, god doesn't look upon me kindly so 
My cat is constantly washing himself, but he doesn't like being brushed. Oh, what a baby. But he's like, no, I can take care of my own hygiene. I'm, I'm, I'm an adult. I'm an adult right now. <laughs> Have you just considered simply not? Um, I would love that. But, um, I tried. I genuinely like I had like a day where I was like I just won't eat this it's, I'm in too much pain after the, the thing is it's not even like different foods that irritate me <laughs> hello that's how that's that's emotionally how I'm <laughs> playing like circles and crosses with my face nobody wins oh god <laughs> Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, it, it's, it doesn't trigger, like, some foods trigger more than the others, but it's, like, it's, you know when it's easier to process and you're able to just eat, like, not solid food and then have a sad little life and you feel like, wow, I'm gonna die so soon and you just hope that your roommate will not open all of the Black Series Star Wars figures that you have saved in your boxes in pristine condition, you know, after you die, but you, you can only hope. You can only hope. Ugh. Not longer. Oh, your stomach just hates spicy food. God, I wish it was just that. I wish it was just that. <laughs> What's good? Just a dude. Just a guy. Just a little man. Just a a day them. I don't know. Don't ask me. That. I I I went to uh, I had a religion classes in school and it was just about Christianity. So. And very like minuscule amount about other religions so i can't really provide you any information besides um you know the, besides the fact that jesus whipped all of those people in the church can anybody listen i think if you're like if you had a christian upbringing as a kid you have at least one like bible story that you will remember hearing in the church as a child and you will go and it's like it's like a moment where your 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 self awakens, where your memories start to truly have colors. Because I, when G there's a story where Jesus like create like crafts a whip and then whips all the like sellers in the church. And I remember sitting in the church being like, "That's kind of messed up, isn't it?" The Jesus doing it. <laughs> oh. They're just trying to sell God merch. <laughs> oh my God. Aviator glasses are so good. Uh, I have a pair of glasses that kind of are, but like a modern take. I, yeah. Uh, do you mean like they have like, a, 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 um, I think they do like a sharper angle or something. It, uh, I think, it, I don't know. I, I looked at something similar. I think. I got a similar pair, but I got a really, 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 really cheapo, ugly pair. I, it didn't look ugly on the website, but it arrived and I was like, oh my god, I feel so bad with them on. But these, these have been worn by time, baby. And you can see my ring light. Uh, now you can't. Blech. Hello, the boys. You're new. Hi, new. How are you? You love my YouTube? That's very nice. That's so nice of you to play. They added zombie ghosts to Modern Warfare 2 for Halloween. God, life is good. God is good. I love all the Halloween additions to any games. Oh, God. <laughs> are we the buddies? Are you saying that about Jesus? But <laughs> that wasn't Jesus. That was me. <laughs> Smoke goes, what are you doing whipping all of those people in the church? What's going on? What's happening there? Oh god. The cleansing of the temple! That's my Bible story too! Seven! It's it's just so emotionally raw. It's You don't expect it because it starts so like slowly and easy and you sit there and you're like, well, a Sunday. You know, I probably, I was sitting, I probably was sitting in the church thinking, well, when I come back, I'm going to watch my brother play Final Fantasy V, maybe finish it, and then maybe I'll be able to play after him. And then you hear that, and it's like... It, 
and it just is so... It's, it's such a visceral experience. Love, dude, I, I love that we have the same, like, traumatic Bible story. Incredibly funny. It's I think it's the same kind of um, personality test that you get as um, your your Simpsons episode when you're born. You know, you have a you have an assigned Bible story, an assigned Simpson episode at birth. <laughs> oh God, those are those are the two qualifiers. That's that's far. Listen, let's not talk. I'm fine. I'm good. Oh. Everything in the Bible is known as canon, and that the rest of it is extended universe. <laughs> Jesus extended universe. <laughs> My parents asked me when I was seven if I wanted to go to Catholic. Ka is it? I'm gonna say Catholic class to learn more about more about Jesus. And I asked, "Do I have to study?" And when they said, "Yeah," I was like, "No, thank you. That's Forezia. That's the best power move." You could have done that's that uh, dude wishing wishing that was me um, oh oh what a that's a vibe <laughs> being like do i have to learn do i have to actually learn about jesus i'm all right i'm really i don't i don't i don't want to study about the man i'm sure he's great <laughs> you are gender envy <laughs> that's so nice that's that's very sweet i god I'm trying to think who gave me gender envy recently. Um, Maroc from Ahsoka. And a little bit Chinhati, I think. The, the two really, really speak to my soul. That, oh, Chinhati, just like me, for real, for real. Oh, baby, absolute baby. I want her to have the best life ever. Only if we pre-order Modern Warfare 3 before season 6. Wait, so did I? Did the opportunity for me pass? Can I no longer get Zombie Ghost? Because I didn't pre-order it yet. Uh-oh. You don't like Zombie Ghost and you're a simp for Ghost? Oh, I didn't see how he looks. Bah. We'll see. I also- <laughs> I also love Ghost to an unnerving extent. I love that. He- he is such a baby girl, though. I love ghosts. I love that the man struggles with being emotionally raw and vulnerable and open, but has a soft little core. He's just like me, for real, for real. Um, there's a few money changes in this temple. Damn all you bastards. Yeah, he, he flipped the tables too. He whipped them and he flipped the tables. My Simpsons episode is um the Clough Kalash episode. It's Homer goes to New York. He's like, Clough Kalash. He's like, oh, would you like, um, do you want, do you, Sprite or crab juice? Ugh! Ugh! Yeah, I'll take crab juice. I think it's uh, either Sprite or Mountain Dew is in that joke. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe, I got a ghost. I can't believe they um, set up shop at the temple. That is, you know what? Jesus hit a shopkeeper with a folding chair! Oh my god, I just want to get one of those wrestling games and do Jesus versus all the sellers and just stuck tape. You know when you can stuck the, the tables up? Do that. And then see who wins and have Jesus in like max stats. And <laughs> he's going to the top rope. Look at J-Man, J-Man getting in. Oh, getting the sh shopkeeper number one. Shopkeeper number one is firing back. <laughs> oh god. Yours is Treehouse of Horror 5. Oh my god. See, people who have uh, Treehouse of Horror episodes as their birth episodes for Simpsons are a different breed. They're, you're, you are superior. You are actually superior to me in every way. <gasps> Ferezia! No, you are superior to everyone. The, the Simpsons episode is the one who Bart's evil tween th that's locked in the attic. That's also Treehouse of Horror, right? And it's the one who's like, have you ever seen your face in a mirror? <laughs> that one! So good! Incredible! Oh my god. Also, I'm getting sweaty. I am I haven't been this happy or excited in a while. Besides besides Star Wars Wednesdays, because that's a holiday. That's a holiday in my household. Um 
I haven't seen this, ep of Asu uh, this episode of Ahsoka yet, but what did you think of the last week's episode? <laughs> she naughty, more like I love, I love everything that Ahsoka has been putting down. But, you know, I am also from, my fringe is giving me, it's annoying me a little bit. Um, I am Rebels number one fan. If I die, if I die, you know, somebody else can take the mantle. But <laughs> I love it like, if I die. And two seconds ago, I was making like, um, you know, plans for uh, for what I have to give away. It's like how oh, my Black Series have to go after I die to my roommate who takes Black Series figures out of the boxes. Um, my brain, what was I saying? Oh, the last episode of Ahsoka. I loved it. I love, I love, um, I love Redacted. And I love when he appeared at the end. Redacted. And it's, it's good. It's all good. Whoever, I, I like, I, I hear that there's some people who are unhappy. But, you know, do you like Ahsoka or do you just hate women? I, I think it's Jenny Nicholson who tweeted that about Cars Free. And Jenny Nicholson did tweet, is like, do you like cars free or do you just hate women? And honestly, a Bergeraver stance has never been made. And I, I feel it. I understand it. I watch cars free. I get what she means. <laughs> Ghost is mama's boy. Oh my God. He seems like such a mama's boy. <laughs> when the first time I heard Ghost's voice, I quite literally had to stop for a second. The worst thing is, um, I've never been into COD before. And my roommate was like, I think you would actually enjoy this COD. And I was like, okay. And I watched him play for a bit and I went feral. And I was like, this is activating me on every single level. And I played it and they also play incredibly. They're so fun. The campaigns are so good. <laughs> you are drinking Mountain Dew. Listen, I don't judge. I don't judge on the... I, don't I will not judge anyone on their soda choices unless they try to tell me that regular Coke is better than Coke Zero because I just don't think that's true. I think Coke Zero's taste is way more refreshing and I will die on that. Like everything else. Like I don't, I don't feel the same about any other diet sodas. Like Dr. Pepper is great whenever it's diet or not. But uh, Coke Zero, not Diet Coke, Coke Zero. That's that's the one. That's that's the one for the books. That's if I like I'm not a big soda person unless I'm drinking. Um then I'm like, you know, you gotta you gotta have a chaser or you gotta have a mix for your drink. Uh but I will I, I love Coke Zero. It just tastes I don't know, it's so nice, refreshing. It just makes you it just makes you feel good, you know? Again, it's probably not, not a good idea to drink it on the reg or any soda on the reg, but when it's a nice little treat from time to time, I'm like, wow, this is ambrosia, you know? This is the juice of the gods. This is really doing it for me. <gasps> Seven, I just read it. He broke him in half. Jesus just getting a cellar, putting him over his knee, cracking his back. And then you have like a close up, like in Mortal Kombat, where the discs come apart. Oh god. When Jesus was a kid, he was notoriously naughty and blinded a few people to get away with stuff. It was removed from the Bible. Yeah, I was like, that wasn't in my Bible. What's going on? Oh wait, Dr. Pepper versus Mountain Dew. Dr. Pepper, I think. I mean, the, ma the man has some, you know, medical experience so i think he gotta come out on top i remember a jesus story that's not really from the bible but the writings of a weird monk aka biblical fun fiction where baby jesus explodes no! i i feel like homer simpson could probably beat up god god he really could oh my god oh <laughs> Simping to poor ghost into liking called pipeline god. It is we're consistent and I think we should be really proud, you know? I, like, Hi, I love you, Anne. Please notice me, Anne. 
someone told you to mix coffee with your protein powder? Sounds disgusting, but I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it like imagine if you had a creamer and if you have like a vanilla protein powder and you have like a nice it makes it into like kind of a smoothie, like a coffee smoothie. Maybe. Maybe. To be fair though, I tried um God, I love Huel. Like as a as a meal when so a frap! Yeah, that kinda is a frap. Um in all like in all fairness of me saying maybe it could be good. Um is I tried the coffee, the iced coffee Huel because they had the it bottled. And I love the vanilla Huel. I like the banana one. I like the strawberries and cream. The Cinnabon one is okay. Um I tried the iced coffee one and it's the first time I had a Huel where I was like I don't want to finish it. Really don't want to finish it. God. But yeah, Huel is just like a good thing for me where I'm not able to cook. And it's better than me than what I did where I was really um when I was really Listen, dude, consistently, it hasn't been a good, great time for me, you know? I think since the war in Ukraine, things have been constantly going downhill. Blame it on Russia. It's, no, it's not Russia's fault. No, 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 the war is. The war is. I'm saying my life is it. Fuck. I had a moment. Imagine if I was just like, you know what? Ukraine really had it coming. <laughs> Uh, I had to. I, I. <laughs> Ugh, that really, that really got me in the heart. Uh, yeah. I mean, the war is awful. Uh, it's still like carving it in stone, dude. This is gonna come into like my um my criminal file alongside uh alongside what did I say while we were playing Sludge Life? Uh, I said I wish you not Bomber was my dad. Yeah, that can go into my criminal file. I think. Yeah. I... Listen, I would like to say I have been... Before I was unemployed, I I was donating to the Ukraine Relief Fund constantly. So, you know, you can know my stance on that. <laughs> Dude. The boys, I I got I got a cut ed cod edit in the middle of crying, and I stopped crying and I started kicking my feet and smiling. I feel this so much. I've been there so many times. When I was when I was treadmilling a lot before like it gotten warm and I was able to ride my bike, um, I would put on. I would put on cod edits when I was like feeling too exhausted, and I was like, I gotta I gotta finish it. Uh, yeah, I gotta g get a good distance and to feel feel good. And um, I would put on COD edits or Pedro Pascal edits. I don't want to talk about it. It's just motivating. You see them and you're like, wow. I'll be like you for real, for real if I go just fast enough, okay? Oh, seven. Yeah, the Hello, big white. Darling. Come in, come in. Hello, Dunkle Feld. Thank you for the follow. Um, the big white bottles. Yeah, the the Huel, the Huel one is the big white bottles ones. Also, I am so sorry for Ezia that you don't have Coke Zero. That is a crime. That is a crime against the nation, I think. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A slice of lemon with, like, Coke and, like, if you do a, a Coke Zero and vodka cocktail, if you're of age... Um, and then you slice a lemon in it. It's very nice. It makes it... Yeah, I, I really like it. Lemon and Coke is good, but not life-changing. You know what's life-changing? Coke Zero. Hello, WTD. Watching as you work from home, this walkthrough should be fun. I am so excited. Um, Hitting the gritty for Ukraine right now? Shout out to Ukraine's family. God, that clip of David Guetta. I was, uh, he did it for George Floyd. 
and I still remember seeing it when it he first did it in real time and like somebody showed it to me and I was like this is an incredible bit that's so funny like they they edited the man didn't they and then it was like no they didn't edit the man he actually did this and I was sitting there like he didn't also I just realized I crossed my eyes because I was looking there's a speck of dust right here and it's annoying me so I'm gonna there's no longer a speck of dust. I'm a happier man. Also, hello, Woo! Thank you for stopping! Those fuels make you physically sick? Oh, ghost, I will not. Uh, this is, I, I don't really want to talk about, um, about that issue. But I'm gonna tell you, um, I think that a relief towards a country that's being you know destroyed by a tyrant is uh like sending relief sending help to them is the least that any of the nations can do and poland was in a situation like that's why a lot of our polish government jumped on to help ukraine because we were there we were in this situation my, some of my family that's still alive experienced i mean a lot of my family started, I've, like, experienced the Soviet regime. It's grim. Um, I am, you know, obviously I'm not, I'm not an American. I'm Polish. I'm living in the UK. And whatever the countries that I'm in do, I hope they will help people who are in need. It's my opinion. Lemon just on watermelon? I have never done that, and that actually sounds quite nice. I tried it once and threw up. Okay, don't do not do that again. <laughs> um, People never understand me when I prefer... Dude, Zalea Coke Zero is the way. I think it just tastes better. Yeah, Pepsi Max is elite, and you can't stop me once I get started. I think I like Pepsi Max if it has a lemon in it and vodka in it. <laughs> Otherwise, I will not drink it. <laughs> speck of glass obliterated i didn't think it was glass it might have been um dust but maybe it was i don't know i didn't i didn't feel it <laughs> am i gonna sound like a heretic if i say that my favorite pair is pepsi heavily diluted with ice cubes hmm I'm thinking about it. I'm not. Poland, a best best friend a country can have. Listen, we Polish people, we're there for our homies. We're there for our neighbors. We might not be there for our own citizens, but we'll be there for people who are going through the same shit we went through. As someone who lives in Northern Ireland, I know how it feels to have tyrants invade your country, and that's where I'll leave it at that. Aye. Aye. I. Yeah, I have, um, I mean, I think, like, the powerhouses of, the, the powerhouse countries in the world have a moral obligation in order to actually help, um, countries that are suffering. And, I mean, countries that are suffering also, like, their own people that are suffering. I... I mean, we all know that the like the situation in America with like unaffordable medical care and all of that. It's it's a hard it's a it's it's a hard look, but oh, it's a hard look. It's just a god. Mm. Well, this is a very on on brand topic, actually, because um, we're playing Cold War, <laughs> so we're gonna have some um, some Russian stuff in it. Mm. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I think there's a big difference between meddling into other countries' affairs and supporting a country that needs aid. Ferezia, Ferezia getting the point, smashing it down, delivering it. Look at that. An absolute legend. 
I Soviet core? I I was literally about to say that Poland is better as a neighbor, honestly. Honestly. Also, yes, mug. A lot from India, a lot from the UK. Um I just don't want award war free. Nobody wants award war free. I I just want to exist. And I also don't want to constantly be afraid that the war is going to go over the borders where my family is. And also there's an immigrant family that my family was helping. They lived with my step parents for a long while. They were really fucking cool dudes, you know? And you don't want those people to hurt. You don't want anybody to hurt. You don't want any war to drag on. You don't want any war to exist in the first place. I... There's just hurts to think about. Fucking hate it. Ugh. I feel like my Poland joke went over everyone's head and I'm sad about that. Poland being there for you, the Rembrandt. It did go over my head. Oh my fucking god. Oh! Dude, I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you, Seba. That's an excellent joke, and I am so sorry. Ugh. Irony is about- you're about to play Cold War, and Cold War was what set the stage for everything today. Um... Yeah, I'll take my bow now. I think Russia's audacity and gumption said a lot. And we can also go further, um, you know, about World War II and the, what that entailed. And then the impact it had on many countries in the Baltic, including Poland. Oog, yeah, I that's that's kind of how I feel with it. But also, I think there's I think there's a lot of variables in this situation, and I understand that like I don't have a master's in political science where I feel um, educated enough to truly um, truly talk about it as somebody who is a. Uh... <sighs> I have opinions. Should I share them? Sometimes. <laughs> I think we should go back to the Coke Zero conversation. Let's go. Let's go. Coke Zero. I think this conversation is way more nuanced than a Twitch chat can accommodate. I, I appreciate having the grounds to actually have a conversation with everyone about it. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's um. Ugh. It's all a lot in it. It's a uh, Coke Zero. Just tastes like something is missing. What? Coke Zero is so good. Anyway, yeah. Um, I I'm just gonna I'm gonna close the conversation before I show you the mug of the day and before we go into the game. Um, wouldn't it be cool if everybody would just be chill to each other? Great. Now we're gonna go to the mug of the day. We're gonna go to Call of Duty. The most apolitical game of all! Sorry. Um, mug of the day. So it's not, again, it's not a mug where, uh, it's, it's, uh, sorry. Just, just saying called the most apolitical game at all is, um, is a statement. It's a moment. Mug of the day. Uh, it's not a Call of Duty mug. But it's more, um, you know, I'm doing a bell. I'm doing a bell moment, you know, today. A non-binary war criminal moment. Because it, I don't know if we see Bell in it, right? Is there a character that we see for Bell? So I was like, I think we we don't. Right? Right? Um, so I got a mug that I was like, okay. Imagine, imagine you're a non-binary war criminal during the, uh, you know, Cold War era. Um, 
the dude Adler you work with kind of hot. You go, you go to a... Uh, where do secret agents meet? I don't know. You go to a Adler's flat. You go to your own flat somewhere in America. And then you're like, God, I need my coffee. I need my fresh cup, cup of Jawa. I just moved into this area. You know, I'm going to keep on moving around because I am a secret agent. I'm a, you know, I got to I have things to do, but I didn't have a mug. I moved in, it's all empty, and obviously I'm not gonna like furnish a flat because I gotta keep on moving around because I'm a secret agent, dude. Um, so I just got a mug from my, I bought a mug. A, a, what was that accent? Who was that? Um, I got a mug from a local shop and this is it. And it, you know, this is a perfect note for a morning coffee before I go uh, out for an up with Adler. And it has um, a brownie coffee in it, which is, it smells lovely and it tastes very nice. But I did leave it for a couple hours. So, but yeah, look at the mug. It's so blown out. Wait, you can see it. It's donuts mug. It's, um, it's a donuts shop in some locations in Midlands. Yeah. Guys, I am gonna, I'm gonna put down my fucking fist. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> now, we're now in cold times. If anybody wants to have a nice little political conversation, we can arrange a stream for that, maybe. Or we can, I don't know. I think it's important to have an exchange of ideas. But peace and love, peace and love. Um, chillax and relax, no cool, playing some Cold War outside of the school? We all sorry, I just saw we all need to hit the bong. That's uh if it was legal in the UK, that's what all we should we should all do. As long as we have mug of the day. You wanna talk about politics? Go take it to Seven, you can't call Twitter that. That's illegal. That's so illegal. You can't call Twitter. I guess it's shorter to type in, but... Right. Cold War. I did not realize you were talking about Twitter. Good, Ferezia. Who's X? <laughs> um, which code will I play next after I finish this one? I'm not sure. Um, I would, ooh, I would like to play, um, Black Ops 3, and I would like to gr drag my friend into playing Black Ops 3 with me, because I heard it's the most fun way to play it, so I would like to do that. A snort? Scariest name, I just can't. It's, it's a part of me now, I don't know, I didn't snort before, it's just, it happened. It's, uh, how it would be. I'd rather talk against the wall than argue with someone on Twitter. I, God, talking to people on Twitter is rough. Unless you're like, no, you know what? Some things are good. I, f I made so many good friends on Twitter in the days of old. True Tales of series and true um, anime to Haikyuu. I was really into Haikyuu for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Isn't Black Ops 3 the one that doesn't have a campaign? Oh, it's Black Ops 4 that doesn't have a campaign. Okay. Okay. It's so weird that one of them doesn't doesn't have a campaign. You should try Advanced Warfare. Okay. I, I, mm, I think Advanced Warfare. A world at war. I heard something about War That War recently that made me want to play it so bad. Is that, um... Basically, there's a moment in War That War where it, that's that's just boils down to the best Nazi is a dead Nazi. 
And I was like, you know what? You so you know what? I'm sold. I'm uh, you know what? I'm into it. I'm really into it now. I just used Twitter for discovering great cod art. Zalea, that's incredible. Thankfully, um, I have Anne. Anne, Anne sends me all the like incredible artists that they find or like any good cod art. And I'm like, oh god, now I'm being provided. I'm being fed. I'm being fed directly only the good juice. <laughs> right. Cold War time. I'm under an hour, and I think this is a, an incredible moment to appreciate the fact that I'm under an hour. I'm so brave. I'm such a good little boy. Um, game capture. Wait! Play anyway? Campaign? Story. Uh... Achieve... <laughs> I don't want to resume. I just started it to see if my volume was too too bad. Can I start? Can you let me start a new one, please? Campaign. I don't want to resume. Restart. Oh, thank God. Okay. I didn't know which difficulty to get it at because I was like, we keep on doing regular and I haven't been struggling quite as much as I was struggling at the beginning. So I was like, maybe I should try Hardened, but then I feel like I'll try Hardened and I'll have a breakdown within the first like 10 minutes of playing it. So I'm a bit like, try to just go regular. You know? You always play COD on realism. I... Why does the music go so hard? I can't, I can't not listen to it. Soviet core, man. Oh, so good. I just got completely thrown off. That was incredible. You can't, you can't play such a fucking a song that goes that hard in the opening menu because I don't want to leave the menu now. How dare they? Um, if you want to enjoy yourself while playing regular is the way to go, I'd say. Okay. Am I a se for seasoned players looking for a greater challenge? Am I a seasoned player yet? Your skills will be pushed to the limit. That's what I'm like. Your skills will be pushed to the limit and it's only the middle of the difficulty spectrum. Veteran, an intense challenging experience. Enemies are deadly, you will not survive. Realism, the most challenging experience. Enemies are lethal with deadly accuracy. The ultimate... That's how I felt with the Elden Ring music, dude. Exactly. When you open Elden Ring, it was... Oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna... Listen. We have to be scientific about this. Ene due rike fake torba borba usme smake deus deus cosma deus i mo rele be agese. Hardened. Oh god, I'm gonna- This is such a good song, Spirit in the Sky, starting off, but I'm gonna get so fucking fucked for this. And I- uh, 
Oh, Soviet car, Soviet car, Soviet car, please don't flag me. I'm just, oh, rank. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. What about Some the AIDS US crisis, Reagan? What about America that, is buddy? Already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? Red scare. Fifty-two American citizens have been taken hostage at the American embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Oh. Mr. President, we Among have two us? names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Kasim Javadi is a, a raw name. It's isn't time it? to it's send such a, a message. Good name. There will be no more hostages. Yes, Mr. President. Another banger? You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for Mason? us. Mason? You'll look the other way. Oh, this is so hot. Oh, this game has been so aesthetically just... Mm. Cousine. Was it Cousine Zavadi? Good name. You remember Hans? We cleared a move on the target. Wait, a Mason? Cousine is in his Numbers, Mason? but he's well protected. Cousine. I'll keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. Hello, Adler. <laughs> I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust up. We don't want to let him down. Slam my money on the table. Oh my god, Adler. Isn't this such a... Oh my god. Fabian's bar are close to three. Dude, this is so aesthetically pleasing. This is a... Uh, uh, this is so vibe! This is so... Yeah, they go extra mile with the vibes! Oh my god, Jeopardy! Hi! How are you? Among Us... Oh my god, Among Us is our Cold War war. Wait, Cold War ward. <laughs> Struggled. You say Among Us and everybody activates. And like, the age bracket between 12 and 32. What is this? A Polaroid? 1980? Hell yeah. Is that just a carton of milk in there? Also... Oh... So... Wait, wait, wait. Is that a confetti or did a bottle smash on the floor? I just wanna... What are... Oh, those are chips. I was like, this looks like a blood pouch. <laughs> no way! We just have... We have brand name Doritos! I grew up in the 90s, I'm gonna go and hide now. I grew up in the 90s! The Doritos! Henrix? Henrix? Oh, are they trying to do a Heineken? But we have Doritos! Were they allowed this? Is this legal? I mean, it's it's Call of Duty, of course they probably have a... It's a lot. Doritos? Oh, it's a Mountain Dew! It's a Mountain Dew in the background! It's a Mountain Dew! Uh, all, the, all the Mountain Dew drinkers in the club, stand up! That's a Mountain Dew, right? That's a Mountain Dew right there. Oh! Hendrix is a brand, is it? This is... I love how you're just going Tolkien in the park over the environment. I mean, dude, you have to! The environment team did such a good fucking job, I gotta appreciate it. <gasps> No fucking way. Oh, no, okay. This It's a repeat picture, but I was like, still, that's cool. Okay, this is the one that's on the wall over there. <laughs> my my voice is going. Um. Oh, a heart. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Let me fix my hair first. 79. Is it... The, the peep in the middle kind of looks like um the main girl from Life is Strange. I know I'm getting the vibe. And also... Oh, my God, that's... um. He looks like uh, if Moist Critical was born in the 1980s. 
Oh. I'm just, I just want to see if there's any other. Oh, fun with the gals. Uh, always a great time. Of course I can carry you. 81, Sophie. Best friends? Wait, I want to see the best friends one. It should be a repeat, right? Dude, I love Polaroids. They make me so happy. Adler is pissed off with me. Adler is just fuming. I am, you know, I this is Mason like two days off from his, um... Wait, what? Where is this in the timeline? Okay, so, wait. Wait. I just realized. Um... This is pre... David. This is pre Mason's son David in Black Ops 2, right? So does this retcon Black Ops 2? I think this kind of retcons 2 and 3. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, Theresia Max. That's her name. That's her name. Oh, Elizabeth from Bioshock. That could be a vibe too. Uh, my favorite character from Black Ops series so far? I don't know. L ask me after I finish playing this one. Mason is always looking for the numbers. Oh my god, Mason is here being like, uh, uh, 1980. Where is it? Where is it? 81. What does it mean? What do the numbers mean? Mason, Mason, those are the the, uh, the dates on the picture. So people, what do they mean? <laughs> 81. 81 with a heart. That's the number I haven't seen. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, there was a best friends one that I, I wanted to see, but I don't think it's a repeat of it. Uh, it's not bright enough for me to see some stuff. Oh, the, the one with the looking like, um, like Critical says classic times. Classic. Uh, 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 uh. I can't read that on the top, but it then says it's the factory. <gasps> Look at the posters. Oh my god, that's a dope poster. Sevens upon seven, seventh day, seven skulls. The musical event of the century, seen by over two million people worldwide. The original ghost. Hey, you guys all right? Oh, whoa, 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 what posters do you have? Oh, vodka? Do you have a special? You have a special category for vodka? How many different vodkas do you serve? Sorry, mate. I, I really wanna... Do you have a menu here? No? Is that Todd Howard? Is that Todd Howard in the 80s? M Mr. Howard, have a big fun! He looks like Todd Howard! I'm not tripping. Right? Okay. So, sorry, Mr. Howard. Oh my god. Just somebody just left cigarettes. Um, Anybody? No? No? Okay, let me... Let me just pop them into my pocket. Yep. Oh, some of them are still smoking? Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, what's the, what's the magazine? Hunting Lodge. The best hunting trips in the world. Man versus nature. I really wanted to see a menu, but... You alright? That's a, that's a fit. Flares with that sweater vest. I tried to wear a sweater vest the other day and um, my roommate told me I looked bad in it. So I didn't wear it and I'm forever bitter because I spent money on it. Oh wait, do we have different brands of cigarettes? Yes. Okay, this is, um, I don't know, a red thing. What's the number of cigarettes left? Oh, let's go. One, two, one cigarette. Ah, ah, ah. Two cigarettes. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, I'm counting. No, don't stop pushing me. Are those your cigarettes? Is that what you're pushing me away? I can't. This is not how screens work. I'm not in VR. You guys all right? Risen? Yeah, me, me neither. Um, oh, wait, this is the man that's on the Polaroid. Right? Something Nixon. Nixon! Oh my god! Dude. 
Oh my! London is clot. Can we? Oh my god! I love that car. On the death team, whoever drew this car and decided to put him on a sticky note in this game, this game just went from a nine to ten. You did this. This car did this. This is so good. This is just some. Um, you know what this makes me feel like? What ma this makes me feel like when you first go into Star Lord's room, and um, in Guardians of the Galaxy game. <gasps> Dude, there's a cigarette dispenser. Cigarette? Oh my god. Okay, we have um, Reginald. We have Munt. We have Viles. Are those minty? No. Uh, we have XXX. Before we had X, we had XXX. Uh, we have Gold. G O U D Diamond. And then this one is Leafde. Temporarily out of service. Why is. Okay. Dude, I really. Okay. Wait, what's the cutout? Hedvek van Ban. Okay, I can't read it. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I just want to see. Do we have different photos? No, no, no. There's some repeats. I can't believe Henrix is a real brand. I just thought they were riffing on Heineken. An excellent jacket. Wait. I thought... Sorry, I really need to see a haircut. Huh. I guess it's in the style, isn't it? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, okay, Perezia, I didn't want to say it. I saw it, and I was like, I shouldn't say it. But the temporarily out of service being painted on, immersion broken. It needs to be on a sticky note, put onto the machine. In the 80s, where cigarettes were sold from vending machines and condoms were only found in the men's room. Wow. What a time. Full knob to reject. I think it usually works the other way around, doesn't it? I don't want to talk about the joke I made. Lockjo! <gasps> oh my god, I got excited because Lockjo is one of my favorite battle bots. <laughs> oh god, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, Adler. I definitely didn't take my time. <gasps> Water Buffalo Initiative? Okay. Dude, you can't... Woods! Woods, are you, like, pre being not the greatest dad to my son? Woods, you look so cute. This is a look for you, and I think it's really working. And you're nice. I think you trimmed your beard. Your hair looks lovely. Oh, look at these slats. Oh my god. You look stylish, man. You, you look like you take care of yourself post the Nam times, which, you know, wasn't great. <laughs> Grow up, Mason. You're 10 years old. Getting a Joel Miller vibe from Woods now. Oh my God. He looks really good. He looks quite handsome. Seven and, and bars over there. You can still get six from a vending machine. What a time. Well, I'll grab it. Just let me. I just kind of want to explore. Wow. Somebody had a horrible bike accident. What's in here? I just- sorry, I like the texture on this. Just- just- I- the vibe of like, a door, a metal door that had so many stickers on it that it just keeps on getting worn and torn. It looks good, I appreciate it. What's up? What's that sound? Can I- can I squish it? Squish it? No? Wait, we're in Amsterdam. We were in Amsterdam in Modern Warfare 2, right? That's where that stood, that some psychopath pulled out a gun in the middle of a restaurant, am I right? Yep. Right, 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 right. Ugh. What do I want to choose? A Milano. I don't... Oh, I don't like MPs that much. 
I like I think AKs are like my babies. And I'm also playing on not regular Dipshit some probably thinks he's safe. Dipshit. That piece of trash is a lot of things. It's safe ain't one of them. Who's voicing Adler? Because his voice is incredible. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kazim has info we need. Everyone else can take it out. Adler! Look how cute this is! Color TVs? Sale? Okay. A partner just up ahead. I know. A hello, Dumptive V7. Thank you for the sub. Sub? Oh my god, it is a sub. Thank you so much for a sub. I'm so sorry. I am. I, oh, the TV. Look at all the graffiti. Okay, I'm sorry. Adler. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Don't say that in your low voice, Adler. Ooh. A boy. Let's help him ring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. Light him up. Go, go, go! There's Kasim! Oh my god, I thought I I might have mistakenly. Um, I might have mistakenly shot Kasim. Oh, I thought I got you! Six shots, okay, reload, reload, reload. Let's go, gamers! Is there anybody else in the bathroom? No. Yep, okay. 15 shots, don't reload. Kasim can't escape! Yeah, okay, let's go! Cover me! Oh, but look, this is so not- Yeah, okay, I'm going! Oh my god, neon lips! Open the fucking door! <laughs> oh, beautiful oh, art. Sorry. Move, move. Shit, 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 fuck, shit, fuck, fuck, fuck! Thank you for pausing, because I was about to throw up. Wait, can I... So this is not gonna make me look very nice if I do this, but the hair is getting in my face and um, it's getting... Um... You know what? Gameplay, gameplay experience is important. Visual, not so much. Oh, God. You uh, always prefer MP5? I don't know, I love AKs. I feel like I have the easiest time aiming with them, which is, you know, usually my downfall. Adler's voice actor voices Commissioner Gordon in some of the animated movies? Daddy, sorry, daddy, sorry. Daddy, pardon. Um, take down system. Initiate a brutal melee kill. I know that I love that I paused here and I was like, you know what? You know what? We can wait. My friend is really annoying me and I just got a cup. Um, initiate takedown. Hold E for body shield. Oh! oh. Go, go! Terminate! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I got too excited about it. There was a head. I am trying to, but I also don't want to get shot. Whoa. just started and hardened. They keep on yelling at me and I'm just a wuss. Oh, I... Oh. oh! I... Okay. We're not playing online. How did this happen? Yep. Go! Go! Oh, what? Adler, you always pick the nicest Hurry places? Up. Oh. 
Oh, I heard a yell. run out in the middle of everything as well. Can anybody call me that? Okay. Maybe Harden isn't for me. You know what? I'm not brave enough for that. Are you guys coming? Keep on him. I'm trying to. Fast. Go, go. I'm jumping. Hurry up. Yeah. Oh. Nowhere left to run, Cassine. We can now work we're so oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Adler. Oh. What am I doing with him? Talk. Oh, okay, we're just talking. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Nope, we're not just talking! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Um, tell us where Arash is and you'll live. You mess with the wrong people. Where's Arash? That's Mason. That's Mason Carr. I have no idea where Arash is. I don't think you understand the situation. <laughs> you Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. I'm good. Um, talk or you're going over. Uh, you have to tell my friend something. I can't stop him from throwing you over. Yeah, I'm a good Wait. cop. I'm a good cop. He's a bad cop. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Who's Irish meeting with? Uh, oh, I swear. I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. Okay. Evidence collected. Operation Red Circus. Uh, Fro, time to join your friend. Capture, you're coming with us. Uh, this is not... Oh. All right, let's load him up. He'll find his voice soon enough. Okay. Let me know if you need some help looking for it. Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in Trap Zone, Turkey. Hudson? D. Hudson who interrogated Mason? D. Hudson? Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours Arash, ago. Arash, more like trash. We should be in position shortly. I, d I don't know what he's about. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess he's a, a terrorist. Hi, Sarah! Wouldn't be shocked if you killed the target. I know, but Mason is only like so intense about... Airfield's just um, up ahead. Kravchenko, all must die, you know? Head. Yeah, let's go find that shit. Priority is to ID a rush before things go hot. Oh my god, the lights and this. It just I love like how vibey this game has been so far. Also, whoever is the lighting artist. Um, I'm sorry, incredible fucking work. That in environment art and character art. You know what? The game devs really fucking gone and done it for this one. Can 
guys, wait for me. Mason, check it out. What do my big old eyes see? Any sign of a rush? Is that no? That's not him. Nope. Incoming truck. Left side. Left side, incoming truck. Rush might be in the truck. Whenever I see airports in that kind of weather, I just think of Toy Story, you know? Of the last scene, Toy Story 2. Good, cool jacket. Fuck. He just diced everyone in a truck. That's gotta be a rush. Hold fire. We need a positive ID. Okay. Turn around. Yell at him. That's our man. Is that what you're saying? Let me just quickly graphic. Where is the frame rate limit custom? Uh should I just do sixty? Is that a bit choppy? Okay, I'm getting a lot of different opinions, so I'm slightly worried. Water tessellation enabled. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cop it at it's not the game, it looks fine to me. It might be a stream issue. Maybe. It might be Streamlabs. Okay. Um it might be one of each person connection. It might be, but also like um I know that's just to like Streamlabs have been like has been having a lot of issues with the new um with the new updates. It really messes up with things. Did you put the field of view at 120? I'm I'm happy I'm 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 okay I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna not do that actually I'm gonna apply cap at 60 and I'm gonna see how this works 
Yep. Is that why you told me they retconned? This retcons Black Ops 2? Mason? Oh, Adler! Should have freaked the hostages when you had the chance! What? Baby girl. Uh, hostages? It was never about the hostages. Dude, what a fit. That's a fit. No, that's a fit. That jacket, those uh, shoes, a headbutt? already on the way. Uh, you won't be able to stop him this time. Mm. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus? Perseus is dead. Dead? Perseus? <laughs> All this time, uh, you didn't even know. <laughs> Did we have Perseus in Black Ops Blonde or two? Perseus will watch the West <laughs> I don't want to hear about this. Tens across the board. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get the limelight. Yes, of course. Anything you want. Who the fuck is Perseus? Yeah. That's my. That's what I'm saying. Well, Mason didn't die. I was worried for a second. 1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Oh, that's Perseus. 1968. Vietnam War. Yeah, remember the vividly thanks to all of the Call of Duty games. Attempted to steal an American made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Handsome dead. Perseus. The CIA's analysts <laughs> consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Hudson. Mr. Hudson. We're all aware of Perseus. Oh, are we? I haven't heard. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, oh, I think everybody he's looks more so than good. The Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer Russell Adler. He's one of the few people even come close <laughs> to capturing First name is uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? I'm fine. You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah. Then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? What? It seems sir, so stupid and perfect. Every time come into play, it shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna Adler happen. Adler looks so good. Something gender envy. Want some gender envy looking at this man. Man? Sir, sir, Mr. The President, sir, Mr. President, Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is this game for Reagan? <laughs> is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, 
Their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press oh, gets all the hell you talking about. Oh, you never do anything illegal. You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods. Woods, that's Plausible such a... Plausible deniability is the Why would you say that? Work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Also, Mason looks more like Give good. Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen. Mason looks cleaned up. Like, he doesn't think about task. numbers anymore. Math is not in his life. Protecting way of life from a great evil. Uh huh. There is no higher duty. Uh huh. There is no higher honor. Mm. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. That's such a dramatic card to put this is five weeks How long later. Did you have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. Mm. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? Sims. It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Sims Azalea, Lazar, even Helen pulled Park. some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get the Mason in the woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, no, don't get me started. It's us! That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. No. No. Bell is a perfect. Perfect day dump. Why are you worried about Bell? First name classified. Last name classified. Classified. Alias Bell. Place of birth classified. Skin tone required. I'm quite pasty. Is am I a one? Or am I a two? I am quite pasty. I think I'm a one. Who makes it in the paper? Dude! Oh my god! You are definitely a two. You're a zero, thanks. I am a pasty little man and don't go outside. Who let Mason in the same room as Reagan after JFK? <laughs> They're just like, oh, you know what? You know what? What a, what a vibe would it be for one man to have multiple presidents on his kill count? What a bit. What an absolute bit. <laughs> Oh god. Fun fact, my mother came to the US back in the 80s, the day Reagan's attempted assassination and... Uh, the, sorry, yeah, the, the day of Reagan's um, assassination attempt. My mother was walking past a furniture shop that had TVs in display with the news talking about it. That's harrowing. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. oh my god, R RTX ray tracing. Yeah, I should probably turn that off. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with one. Uh gender classified. Oh, he has the four genders: male, female, non-binary, and classified. Can I have classified gender, please? I would like that. That's my favorite. We're gonna be a non-binary war criminal. Military background. Classified. CIA, MI6. Uh pronouns in my cod game this game is woke woke agenda um am i am i six am i that's the real gender that's the real gender in spectrum am i cia am i am i six or am i ex kgb um okay cia after a stint with the marines bell joined the cia serving briefly under jason hudson Afterwards, Bell was assigned to Russell Adler's um, MACV SOG unit in Vietnam. MA6. <clears throat> Prior to joining Russell's Adler's squad in 1967, Bell served with MI6, reaching the rank of senior squad leader. Operations involvement classified. I I liked how I liked the look of Helen. So I was like, MI6, you know, ex KGB. While operating as a KGB agent, Bell became an asset for the CIA. Eventually, 
defecting to the United States in 1965. Bell later became a full member of Russell Adler's MACV SOG team. I think I think MI6, right? We gotta. Mm. Yeah, I'm my six. Sorry, I'm just I'm really trying to think about it. I'm also wondering where where I was during like a time of uh just national trauma, but I remember where I was when the the space shuttle exploded that was rough um psychological profile okay paranoid um aiming speed increased by a hundred percent ads time halved Ooh, that's quite good trust no one tends to interpret the actions of others as hostile vibe violet tendencies bullet damage increased by 25 percent um, reliable in execution, though questionable in results, exhibits a low to medium magnitude of cognitive dissonance. Lone Wolf, initial sprint boost duration, three times as long, prefers to act independently, oftentimes questions authority. We're gonna be role-playing, it's time. That's skull drawing a vibe, honestly, that is... This is me when I have an achy little head. Um, oh my god, there's 15? Okay. Um, can I choose multiple? Or is it just one? Uh, professional. Full... <laughs> Hitman. Sorry, Hudson. Uh, full movement speed when using ADS. A highly regimented. Sees team members as mission assets only. Lacks empathy. Fearless. Received explosive damage reduced by 50. Will disregard threats even in the face of immediate danger. Reliable, always planning ahead, dedicated to following orders, ammo capacity increased by one clip. This is like the COD Zodiac, isn't it? This is uh, the Zodiac for the COD girlies, I think. Uh, tor tormented. Lethal and tactical equipment capacity increased by two. Always expects the worst, over prepares for a negative outcome. I like- I feel like our bell should be either tormented or a lone wolf. Um... Aggressive behavior. Reloading speed increased by 50%. Overly reactive. Prefers, prefers to escalate conflicts to physical means. Listen. Having a bigger reloading speed seems of benefit for me. I think. Pick reduced damage from explosives. It will save you from your grenade. Can somebody time uh, can somebody time on out for five minutes? Because that was fucking rude. What the fuck on? <laughs> You're right, but I don't like it. What the fuck? <laughs> Why am I touching strays? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is that? That's such a sweet question to ask. I'm feeling okay today. It's been a rough go, but I'm feeling better because I'm playing Cold War, I think, and hanging out with people. Okay, I'll be over there. Be right back five minutes. I'm putting, like, a cone of shame on Anne. And, you know, when it usually says, um, what does it usually say? Like a doofus on the, on the cone? I'm just gonna put, said a funny joke. Time out for five minutes. Is there any perk to turn off friendly fire? Can you guys fucking stop? I'm feeling, I'm feeling very, I'm, I, I'm feeling witnessed and I don't like it. Anne out here with the burns. Anne always throws like the, the biggest burns towards me. I always catch strays. Listen, somebody needs to like lift up the comedy. And our friend group, and Anne is taking on the task like a brave little boy. Uh, aggressive behavior, I, I should, I really should. 
Survivor, highly resourceful, adaptable to any environment or situation. Health increased by 25%. <sighs> Maybe. Calm under pressure. Pain flint reduced by 90%. Outstanding mental aptitude, a highly effective agent when focused. Hmm. I think this would be good for Belle. Methodical, systematic in thought, approach and execution. Dependable, but also predictable. Weapon kick reduced by 25%. Relentless, rate of fire increased by 25%. Can become fixated on accomplishing the mission at all costs. And definitely not run into explosives. Dependable, damage taken when stationary reduced by 30%. Has a team first mentality, always last to leave the fight. No, not our, not our bell. Impatient. Hip firing more accurate while moving. Shoot first, think later. Wants to take the fight to the enemy. I think, um... I think... Calm under pressure, probably. Or, um... Aggressive behavior. Between the two. <laughs> Which one makes you obsessed with the numbers? <laughs> oh, yes. Survivor, calm under pressure, methodical, relentless. Numbers! Numbers, Mason! Dependable, impatient. Uh, aggressive behavior or calm under pressure, I think. The IBS perk. Violent tendencies, lone wolf, the numbers, fearless, reliable, IBS, achy tummy, big ol' headaches, fuck you. <laughs> Friendly fire, <laughs> the divergent perk. I don't need any more perks towards that, I'm okay. Oh. Miss the last and first name? Oh wait, can I give myself a first and last name? Okay. Um, I'll go back to that. But I think calm under pressure, aggressive behavior. I feel like... Mm, whatever we choose, we have to roleplay that way. Because you get answers in this, right? You get to choose a lot of stuff. And I feel like if if Bell has been in the MI6 and reached a senior squad leader, being calm under pressure and probably going through a lot of shit makes sense. A highly effective agent when focused. So maybe um, there's a sense of disconnect during the missions in order to be able to get through with it. I feel like calm under pressure, but also I love the concept of Belle being like absolute fucking hellhound. But I feel like if Belle was absolute fucking hellhound, I don't know if they would get senior squad leader in MI6. So I'm gonna go with calm under pressure. We got a roleplay, man. First name. Non-binary 80s names. Oh. First name Simon, last name Riley. No, because uh, uh, mm -hmm. does Ghost have a legal name? Go no, not Ghost. Does Bell have a legal name? First name Ronald. Russ, last name Reagan. First name Victor. Last name Reznov. First name. Last name Mason. Oh God. Kravchenko. Um, I need to... A Russian name would be fun. But I don't know if Bell is, like, Russian-coded. Um, also, I can't imagine having, like, during the Cold War era, having Russian agents. I guess, no, it would make sense, right? I don't know. What do I know about Secret Service during the 80s? Um, David Mason. Help a seven-year-old in DMI6! Um... Mm -mm. 
Section. Section. Are you fucking kidding me? Section. You absolute bastard. Tony Todd. Oh, so many good stuff. Well, any will my name show up anywhere? Because I could I could go with the first Soviet uh, like female astronaut. But I don't know. I'm just Googling now. What's a good non-binary name? Oh, I wouldn't call that good. Sorry, I'm not judging. Ezra? Ezra is non-binary? Ezra Bridger keeps on winning! It will show up at the start of the mission. Keep it classified. Can I keep it classified? Because that, that seems quite fun to have first name classified, last name classified, alias Bell. Place of birth. Europe. We're in MI6, right? No, wait. Europe. MI6. I'm stupid. If I'm in MI6, then... <sighs> Can I just classify? I don't know. I feel like... They will provide me information, right? About my character. And I feel like giving first name, last name, and then place of birth. Will they? Or is it just completely like self insert? I don't know. Oh, I can choose two pro profiles? Brilliant. Okay, calm under pressure and aggressive behaviors. Because, you know what? Primarily, Bell is calm under pressure, astounding agent, really like zeroes in. On, on the assignment is able to completely disconnect but also when the disconnect is you know too powerful they gotta they have an aggressive side that comes out because you can't just keep all that in great yeah I can't I can't just first name and last name I think Ludmila Pavlich Avlichenko? Ash Blake? How about Isaiah? Isaiah is such a good name. That's a very good name. No, I'm not gonna put in a name or I'm not gonna put a place of birth because I feel like you're not Ash Blake, you're Ash George. Um, I, yeah, I feel like if they, I, will they, that's the thing because I feel like we have in all of the calls when we have the main character even if they're silent we start learning things about them like what kind of a name is Soap? What kind of a Muppet's name is Soap? Um, you know and stuff like that so I feel like maybe hmm. oh yeah people will listen if I would if my name in MI6 would be Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz I can guarantee you that my teammates would shot me just so they don't have to write down my name on the reports um Sanji Luffy or Zara can you see I watch One Piece I'm so tempted to watch the live action one I really love the animated one um at least I mean I watched only like 150 episodes so I didn't go very far in comparatively but I, I look at the, all of the live action, like, cast looks so cute. They actually look really good. Right, okay. We're gonna go first name classified, last name classified, place of birth classified. And we're Belle. Belle. Welcome to West Berlin. Thank you. Oh, my you MI6 job, bestie! We got a job to do. That's what? good. Adler? Bell? Park? Adler? Let's get started. Okay. Sims? There's been a surge Lazar? in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. 
The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. Break your town! Sorry. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. Oh, yeah. My MI6. We'll have to start My somewhere. guys. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with Are us. Are we going back to Vietnam again? Pull up everything we've got on the attack and demand. I don't wanna. Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. Your MI6 experience helped our team back in Nam, and I'm counting on it once again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. All right. Everybody's just smoking out. Seems. Thank you, Agent Azalea. Medical supplies will be in the back room. Your medical supplies will be in the back. I'm sorry. Why did I think it was an innuendo? Oh, I am broken. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a trash human being and I shouldn't live. Um, oh my God, his fit is awful. Can we all agree? We need to process some of these old negatives. Also, Parg's get up. Oh, the grain on the jeans. It's very nice. Ooh, a little, a knifey knife. Beautiful leather jacket. Look at that lining. Oh my god, I don't know what. Look at this little bit here, like where the leather comes across and then you have a slide bulging out around here. Doesn't that look stunning? Look at that. Like, I don't know, that just makes it feel so much more real. Because then, like, the top bit, like, over here would come on the top of this bit. And then, it, it just, you know, you can imagine how it was sewn and have that little... I don't know. It just, it just gets me. Isn't it? Isn't it nice? Doesn't that just make you so excited about life? Also, she's very... Yeah, I... Oh, I'm good. I'm emotionally well. She's just very pretty. And she's so pretty. Okay, I just saw that somebody said a spoiler. Um, I just saw it said spoiler, and then two people said spoiler in their sentence. So right now I'm trying not to look at the chat. Um, if if any of my mods, for example, Anne is there, could you please delete the message if it actually has a spoiler? If it's a joke, do tell me it's a joke, but I desperately do not want to be spoiled for this game. Okay. Can we, can we get... Uh, please. I am... I'm just, like, looking over it. Or I think Ash has a mode. If either of you that are here could sort this out, I will look away now from the chat because if I get spoiled for this game, I get so fucking upset because I've been so excited to play it for, like, half a year. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah. Can you make me a mod? I'm not... Oh shit. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna... But it's slash. Please do not put spoilers in. I will get fucking upset. Great, I'm not logged in! Fuck stream labs, man. That's not my password. Oh, thank God. Sorry. See, this is how we fuck to fucking do. If you're gonna put spoilers in the chat, whoever did it, don't ever do that again, or I'm gonna punch you. Because everything is paused now. Where is it? Two, two, five. Why am I saying this out loud? It's okay. It's just a temporary thing. Did that? Oh no 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 no! It my. Sorry. Yeah, please delete the message and then. 
we can resume the game. Otherwise, um, I feel like this is a real fucking pervert angle that I left us in as well, so my apologies. Um, that was just a temporary token for me to log in, by the way. I, I wouldn't say my password out loud, but that was, um... Oh. Uh... Should I put it in the rules when you join the chat that it says, do not post spoilers or I will fucking mute you? <laughs> mm. Where is it? Uh... Till then, check your RTX. All right, it's graphics. Is it, um... Wait, what was I supposed to check? Surface scattering, baby. This is, I'm going to tell you guys, this is the reason why if I'm really hyped about something, I will not go online. Like, the reason why I share these games is because I have so much more fun playing it with everyone. And also, it's nice when people sometimes tell me what to do when I get lost. Or it's nice to, like, appreciate the games through other people's perspective as well. But what I, like, really care about something, for example, Ahsoka... Uh, Ahsoka, available on Disney+. Plus. Like, I would watch the episode, and until I watched the episode, I would not go online. Because I absolutely do not want to get spoiled on things that I'm so excited about. So I would really appreciate it if nobody posted spoilers, because I, I, this is the game I've been hyped for for like half a year. That's why I played the other Black Ops first. So please do not post shit about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, shut down ray tracing. Where is ray tracing? Am I blind? Brightness, frame line, Am I? Show quality. Ray tracing! Yep, a whole category called ray tracing. And my brain goes, where is ray tracing actually? Disabled, disabled, disabled. Great. It looks quite nice though, doesn't it? Okay. Apply. <laughs> Don't think about spoilers, think about the numbers! Oh, God. Oh, right, I'm good now. I'm all good. Okay. I'm also running out of. I'm running out of water. What? Park, you're so beautiful. The eyeshadow, though, having that like, I don't know. She has a purple outline of eyeshadow and then a black over it, and I know it's simple, but you know what? She's gorgeous. She's stunning. You're ghost, you're back with pizza. That's a vibe. You're thinking right now, should I make a joke or will I get banned? If you think you're gonna get banned for saying the joke, maybe don't, okay? I I can't Spoilers and hateful shit are not welcome here. I'm gonna tell you these two things. And I hope you already know that because I'm very transparent about that. Like, this is a space of positivity, and we do- we do crack jokes, but maybe not at other people's expense. Unless it's me! I am the punching bag that's allowed to be put on display. Nobody else! <laughs> Marvelous designer clothing, for real, for real. Oh god. It's not only Marvelous designer, it's just like the material definitions are lovely. I mean, look at this chair bit. Yeah. I mean, marvels and, and construction and stuff, but I can imagine it's like it also gets sculpted over. Although I'm not sure if this is um. <laughs> she went. <clears throat> she went. Um. She went. She didn't go anywhere. It, uh, it's like pre-era where they scanned everything, right? For COD, or maybe it's already in the time. It is 12 right now, but is it 12 p.m. or a.m.? Also, that's a nice gun, and a nice lighter and a mug. See a simple mug. What brand do we smoke? 
Leave Leave the Leave the brand. Oh my god, a recorder. Ever since I looked at the um the Mindhunter opening, I just don't look at these the same way. Stunning. The environment team must be proper chuffed with their work because this is stunning. Oh cola! Some cola is it zero? Is it a coke zero? Oh no, it's col it's colos? Colos? Cola! Coca-Cola! That would actual cocaine! Is that peanuts? Dude, peanuts- uh, nuts are like the best snack. This is- oh my god, this is so stunning! Wait, is that- what is that? Is that a little tape recorder? Or a radio? That looks like a radio, doesn't it? Look at this kit. Oh my god, the- like, the plastic over the TVs? Oh, this is all so good! I want to live and breathe here. <gasps> Wait, does it... Is it just like one of the locations where CIA... Um, like one of the safe houses, I guess, for the CIA? And then like once you're done, everything gets covered in like... Um, in like plastic and... Um, my brain. You know, gets covered so nothing like dust doesn't get on it, but it's like very accessible for agents that are in the area. This is really cool. And also, whatever it's like a different is it like a different shader? That's true. It like obviously there's like a translucency shader and stuff, but like you can see like if you look in the back this bit and then like how it looks through here, it kind of dissipates the the colors. It looks really cool. God. <laughs> the little da, da, da. um the dramatic sting in the background this is cool this is so cool northern pkg storage co-contract number blah 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 um potatoes oh my god w guys we have russians one two six potatoes we gotta share keep it dry and apples yeah performance didn't change when you turn on the rtx so you might want to change it again i don't know what's going on i mean i look over on the screen and it looks fine on my screen they got the dorito branding but not the coca-cola one apparently i love how invested you get into game design i love game design i mean by profession, but also I just love it. Original chips! We're not getting any more Doritos. Listen. See. Who's that guy? Is that peanut butter? That's such a good label for peanut butter. That's incredible. Isn't that such a beautiful label? I love this little peanut man. All the branding money went on the first scene. They were like, we got Doritos and nothing else. <laughs> we got Doritos on screen for one moment. Dude, this, I mean, playing this game makes me want to have a, like Doritos and I can't have them because they have milk in them, but. Oh, those are sticky notes. I genuinely, my, br are those sticky notes? They kind of look, or filters? I'm not sure what that is actually. Hmm. Oh, what's my... What's my aim? Oh, look at the board. I will look at the board in a second. I just like looking... Especially... I love the first areas in the new CODs because they actually do let you get... Like, walk through it. And experience it. Okay, that's the med bay bit? I think there are... Oh, light bulb boxes. That would, that would make sense. Ugh. Oh. The plastic shader. Dudes, dudes, dudes really fucking gonna done it. That looks really cool. Oh, somebody left their sandwich on an oil can. <gasps> oh, it's a repeat. No, it's not a repeating thing. I don't. Okay, this little detail of like rust. Oh, come on now. That's stunning, isn't it? The color variation. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Can I? I can't read that, but I love that there's a cigarette over the table, over the paper on here. 
A pencil? A... I don't know what that is. That's a good lamp. No, that's a nice lamp. Oh, are you a safe lag? Let's let's keep on thinking. Let's let's keep on thinking about the nation. Uh I really wanna I really wanna get out. How are they called? My brain is going a writing machine. It's not a writing machine. Typewriter! That's the one! Thank you very much. I I love typewriters. I al I always want to get one because I think of the episode where Ron uh, of Parks and Rec when Ron gets a, a typewriter and goes, I'm gonna write every word I know. That's how I feel. Oh, incredible. Oh, this area, man, this area is doing something to me that I didn't know could be done. Dude, they really are using plastic everywhere, and I'm so grateful for it because it looks fantastic. Oh, the little pool on this. Oh. 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 Ooh, some, some... Is that a concert? Jimmy Black and Cat's Cradle live on stage. Oh, our, our little stuff. Look at our boots. Look at all our boots. And some coats. And what are you doing, Lazar? Hey, mate. Burger Town shirt. Iconic. Oh. Bell. Um, how long have you been with the CIA? Do you know of persons before this mission? How long have you been with CIA? I'm interested. Working with the CIA over a decade. On their actual payroll? Going on about five years. Mm. I was born in D.C. Parents moved to Israel when I was a kid. Dual citizenship has its advantages. Hmm. Israel? Yeah. I landed in the Israeli Defense Forces out of university. Did a tour there. After that, the Mossad. Mm. That's when I first started working with the CIA. And occasionally, our boss man Adler over there. Everybody is so beautiful in this game. It's really bothering me. <laughs> the, uh, dude. The character team must be so proud as well. This is, oh. You probably know more than me. I guess it's something the top brass wanted to keep to themselves. Oh, sorry. I asked him about if he knew of Perseus before the mission. And he said, you probably know more than me. I was like, I don't know, I just met the dude. I didn't meet the dude, I met the dude that we shot that told me Perseus. And then Woods was like, who the fuck is Perseus? Oh wait, no, that was Mason that was there. Ugh. Enough talk. Sims. Heavy pack. Hell yeah. One sec. Enough talk. Oh, they're gonna be punchies? How are things, Bell? Hi, hi, Helena. Interested in Vietnam stories? You look familiar. Have we worked together before? MI6 buddies. You and I. Now that I think about it, I'm sure I've seen your face around Sentry House once or twice before. But these days, I'm seldom in London. Okay. Fair. Uh... Anything I can help you with? Interested in Vietnam stories. That feels like such a weird thing to ask, but I'm gonna ask it anyway because I want to know all the options. In this case, quite. I understand you may have first-hand knowledge that could help us. Oh god, I was in Vietnam. Not again. It must be different. I don't think I talked about Vietnam in years. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be therapeutic. I don't want to talk about Vietnam again. We had so much Vietnam in all of Cubs games, and it's just bad. Anything well, I can help you with? I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Yeah? What do you know of Perseus? 
Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. That's very, that's very, I, yeah, very impressive. You're, you're impressive and I like you. Uh, I'm gonna leave you to it. Yes. We'll talk again soon. God, I hope so. Okay. Don't <clears throat> me. Pretend yeah, like get it, is. Lazar! What's his name? <laughs> that guy back in Vienna. You know. The guy back in Vienna. Uh, good. Brendan. I need to move a little. <laughs> Park is Come very mutter. Yeah, P Park Park is mutter. Mutter oh. serving. Another. How's the shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> All you back. Nice. How much you got? Take it. Oof. Hips. Hips. Getting rusty. Hips. Hips. Hey, Adler. Oh, what? Well, you're looking a little pale. You up for this? The change of perspective, everything in the background blurring, and you being one on one with the character is uh, is nice. Um, never been better. Good. You've just moved up on my favorite team member list, right past Lazar. Wait, Lazar is first. Um, Park seems familiar. You probably cross paths at MI6. Maybe you two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, though. Everybody has a little work crush. It's not a biggie. Uh, what's up with the evidence board? We're placing key intel up there. One for each mission. Forming connections. I want a red line right to Perseus. God, the jacket is a fucking die for in it. Uh, why talk about our Denang mission? It'd be good for Park to hear it from us firsthand. Maybe we have overlooked something. All right. Don't really want to retell my trauma, but if it can help the mission. The safe house. How long the place has been I've in done use? Time here before, years back. This go round, just a few days now. Ask Lazar, he can't get enough of safe houses. <laughs> so you worked with Lazar before? We've done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. That's Don't it. Be a stranger. Stranger danger. God, Adler, that coat! <sighs> Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to be a pervert, but I just genuinely appreciate the character art team. This is work. It looks so good. <laughs> it just zooms in and holds his hand. Sorry, I'm not a weirdo. That's what a weirdo would say, right? No. The black room. Sorry, the black room, the dark room, right? Uh, Dallas News article, Sniper Kills President. Stationed by a window at the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository, the shooter fired three consecutive shot shots, killing the President of the United States. Yeah, I know him. His name... His name is Mason. And they put him in a room with Ronald Reagan. Adler's floppy hair is giving me life. He looks so good. Adler, Adler is so good. This game is surprisingly pretty. Not that other card, card games were in, but this is next level. I love the vibes in here. Like the the lighting so far. Like you have the um, the dark room reds when we were in um, were we in Amsterdam before? And you had all the neons all around the walls and the pink lighting and a little bit of purple lighting, bisexual lighting. Um, it feels very like. I don't know, it, it's a lot of it's saturated, which I feel like a lot of cuts go lean into the more gray, graph realistic look. Um, this one has, it's really fun and really pretty and I like it. It just, I just imagine a Carter crouching down intently looking at his hand. I don't want to talk about it. 
This is human resources. You're two drools away from sexual harassment's right up. Is it? Is that? Okay. I don't. This is fun. This is like horror movie, thriller movie levels of fun. Fuck that. What the fuck was that? Can I punch it? Why did the TV randomly turn on? And then turned off? Why did I get creepy sounds? God, right. Oh God, following in Mason's footsteps. Heck, I wouldn't keep Adler like waiting too long. Uh, all right. What do you say? Am I keeping you waiting too long? Take a look at Denang on the board. Okay. Anybody else wants to talk oh. to me? No. It's oh my God, that that was Stranger Things coded. Perseus is very handsome. Not, to, I'm not, I'm not gonna simp for like, you know, a terrorist. Oh we, oh we all love a bad boy, don't we? Yeah, not a fucking terrorist. Oh, that's fun. Use the evidence board to select the next mission. Replay previous missions or examine evidence. When you see this icon, new evidence is available that can assist you in the next mission and more. Get those behind the iron curtain cheekbones! <laughs> uh. Now I turn around. Da -da. New evidence. Okay, it says new evidence. Examine evidence. Eliminated Arash Kadivar. Captured Kwasim Javadi. Uh, acquired an encoded message from Quasim Operation Chaos. Examine evidence. Um, what of Arash Kadivar, a key Middle Eastern asset for Perseus? Question uh, mark. Arash Kadivar was born moments after the Allied invasion of Iran on August 25th, 1941. As Kadivar neared his 12th birthday, the Prime Minister of Iran was overthrown in a Western sponsored coup. Kadivar's father, a supporter of Mohammad Mossadegh? Mossadegh? Is that how you pronounce it? Mossadegh's regime was imprisoned, tortured, and summarily executed. Uh, the young Kadivar entered his teenage years with a powerful anti imperialist anger. Fairs. Later, he would begin to reluctantly associate with agents of the USSR who also had an interest in ousting the American-backed Shah. Shah? Shah? Shah. Shah. Kadivar showed himself capable of exploiting religious zealotry if it has served his political purposes. It is unknown when his relationship with Perseus began, but Russell Adler ended it on the tarmac at Trabzon Airfield. He sure did. Ooh, photo of Kwasim Javari, the apprentice. There's always two, the master and the apprentice. Uh, the apprentice. Uh, Kasim Javadi was born in the Northwest Iran in 1946. Inside the short-lived USSR puppet state of the Azer Azerbaijan People's Government. My apologies if I'm butchering, uh, that I'm butchering those names. Listen, I can, I can, wait. Could Google tell me how to pronounce that? How do pronouns Serbian? Azerbaijan. 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 
Azerbaijan People's Government. He grew up in poverty, but showed exceptional promise as a student. At age 18, he left his family to attend the University of Tehran, intent on becoming a doctor, but dropped out dissatisfied. Qasim became increasingly attracted to the political resistance movement in Iran. After encountering Arash Karivara at a secret group meetup in Tehran, Qasim entered the fold, becoming a key ally in Karivar's plan to undermine the government of the Shan. Shan? Uh, Javadi's ignorance, love of luxury, and carelessness left him vulnerable to CIA action once they chose to take it. 1911 from weapons shipment. Woodpecker! After killing Arash Kadivar, Russell's Adler's team discovered that Kadivar had been moving crates of black market 1911s out of Turkey to an unknown destination. A partially destroyed manifest acquired on the scene of the plane crash mentioned Woodpecker, which could be the code name of the recipient or the location. Woodpecker. That's a good code name. Uh, bullet extracted from Arash's target. Family feud as Russell Adler, Frank Woods, and Alex Mason, the OG boys, uh, the two OG boys and Russell Adler, um, watched from a hidden location. Arash Kadivar decided to execute someone on the tarmac at Trabzon Airfield. It is possible the victim was an unaffiliated third party, but the Central Intelligence Agency believes that it was more likely an internal dispute of some kind. Based on the 45. Is it O45 bullet? Is that how you say it? Uh, 45 bullet extracted from the victim's chest. Kadivar was using 1911 from the illicit weapons shipment loaded on a nearby plane. So he was using the guns he was moving aboard. Oh no! His, his sunnies! A rush Kadivar glasses. More than meets the eye. In Turkey, the Central Intelligence Agency sees several items of Arash Kadivar person, including his eyeglasses. Eyeglasses? After a laboratory analysis, investigators discovered a narrow compartment embedded in the underside of the left lens frame? He had some... Ooh, a curved hollow needle containing a small dose of tetradox... Tet... Of tetradotoxin. Of tetradotoxin. A curved hollow needle containing a small dose of tetrodotoxin, a powerful neurotoxin, was nestled inside a hidden compartment. That's an espionage shit. That's cool. That's really cool. Analysis speculate that Kadivar could have been carrying the toxin to either evade capture through suicide or to use as an additional close quarters weapon if otherwise disarmed. Dope. Really dope. Uh, Amsterdam planning map, greasing the hand. This is so much text. Ugh. Are these important? I don't want to skip it. I feel bad if I skip it. But also, this is a lot. Amsterdam planning map, greasing the hand. Hans Timmerman is a chief of police in Amsterdam Centrum. Oh, Hans Timmerman, I hope you have a nice little life. In 1976, Russell Adler, Adler first met him at a late night poker game in Newmarket, where Adler not only took most of Timmerman's money, but also a mental snapshot of all of Timmerman's weaknesses. Adler? These included, but were not limited to, to, to American dollars, fantasies about international espionage, and an irrational fear of exotic foreigners. Interesting. Okay. I, I I no longer hope you have a easy little life, Hans Timmerman. That's such a weird fucking thing. He was just the man to exploit when Adler needed to remove the police presence from the area around Kwasim Javadi's apartment. It would be a clear path from the back of the Sears to Kwasim's courtyard and a short window of time to go weapons free without fear of intervention. Sketch of Kwasim Javadi's apartment, lifestyles of the rich and infamous. Kwasim Javadi purchased this apartment in cash less than a year ago, which exactly no one within Central Intelligence Agency believed was a clean transaction. Javadi had been partying with friends, family, and cohorts in seemingly endless New Year's celebration. 
when Russell Adler and company decided to make a surprise appearance. Many of men there would be practice militants, but for the most part, Adler expected it to be a simple affair. He wasn't wrong. Yeah, I definitely didn't get killed. That's a weird way of saying xenophobia. It's like, yeah, this one really fucking hated foreigners. It's like, but it's, you know, we wouldn't use any big words. No harm in scheme reading. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting into it just because the Arash Kadivar's glasses bit about um, him carrying a fucking a neurotoxin in, in like the little compartment in his glasses is, is some espionage shit that I'm really into. Um, matchbook from this tier. Typical woods. <laughs> As Russell Adler prepared to leave Langley in late January, he briefly discussed his plans with Lawrence Sims to resurrect the old CIA evidence board at Safe House E9 in West Berlin. Our safe house! Uh, starting with intel from their recently completed mission in Amsterdam and Trabzon. Frank Woods, who was listening nearby, walked up to Adler and placed a hand on his shoulder. Woods lifted up a matchbook from the bar in Amsterdam and waved it in front of Adler's face. Leaning toward Adler with a serious look, he said, Hey, a souvenir for your fucking board. <laughs> it was Adler to disappoint. <laughs> oh my god, I love Woods. You know what? I'm forgetting everything that Woods said in Black Ops 2. That's no longer... That doesn't exist in my brain. Woods isn't now my... My, my little sunshine moron. What a baby boy. Baby boy coded. Ugh. Next mission, Fractured Jaw. Examine evidence, okay. Oh my god, we're going back to Nam. What rating is this fanfic? <laughs> Woods is just a himbo. He is. Did you miss anything? I've just been reading, um... I've just been reading the evidence board, so you haven't. Good morning, Vietnam! Um, Adler and Company is such a good band name. It's a bungie. Dude, I think... I'm not... Listen, I want to read you the list of my band names that we've been coming up with. I have a, like... In my notes, I have a huge list. And they're all incredible. Just sometimes you say a sentence like, This is a sick band name. And then you have to have it on. Don't spoil game to yourself with reading evidence before the mission. Wait, what do you mean? We should be... But this is evidence. You you debrief, right? Before the mission. And then you get more evidence after the mission is done, right? 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 You read it into... You, it seems like you get the evidence, you read them, you examine them, you go into the mission. Right? I can't imagine that special agents debriefing is like, Listen, don't read the evidence. You really want to go, go in fresh and just not have context for it. Oh... Wait, are you- are you saying this for real? Should I not be reading the evidence? Is that gonna spoil me the mission? Basically, other way of saying, please play the game. No! This is a reading simulator now! <laughs> Listen, I wanna- I wanna read it! I like it! They're, I'm trying to engage- I'm got, I'm trying to engage game in the way that they're providing me for. Unless they're gonna make me play a fucking RTS mode, then I will just sooner eat my own hand. <laughs> Examine evidence. Photo of Camp Haskins. 8,000 miles from home, located just north of Da Nang. Camp Haskins was a part of the conglomeration of the U.S. Army bases that supported the Army, Marines, Navy, and Air Force. Russell, Russell Adler's MACV SOG team was briefly stationed there in the fall of 1967 and into the early winter of 1968. This photo was taken on a rare day without rain during the region's winter monsoon season. It was during this week at Da Nang that Adler's team discovered evidence of Perseus activity in Vietnam. Not the greatest photo, lads. It's a bit dark, innit? Uh, photo of Russell Adler and Lawrence Sims. Shared joy, shared suffering. 
after what joy do you get from being a nun mate <laughs> especially being an american in vietnam um not now during the nam war uh after lawrence sims graduating from rochester institute of technology he entered the army where he served for two years before joining the ranks of the central intelligence intelligence agents and be before joining the ranks of the cia his first major assignment placed him on russell adler's macv sog team in vietnam where he immediately became one of adler's favorite cohorts by the end of their time there sims was also adler's most trusted confidant he was he had blah blah he has been a mainstay on adler's various teams ever since on their besties well besties for vietnam um u.s army calendar the sites are nice i guess the sites are nice um read the evidence for the previous missions now then reading the evidence for the mission about to happen so give a little rundown the events of the mission hmm the highs and lows of high school football oh my god sarah is that a fucking riverdale bit Is I just felt like I had like a flush. Like I, I I I left my body for a second. It's easier if you say Mug V. Okay. It is from Riverdale. Oh my god, that moment just made me fucking fade. Not like I wa I think I watched like two episodes of Riverdale and I was like I can't I can't. I really the aesthetic really spoke to me. The same with Sabrina. I really wanted to like it. Um, U.S. Army calendar, 1967. Biding their time, the studies and observation group began covering missions in Vietnam uh, in 1964. In July 1967, Russell Adler and his small team of MAGV operatives were sent by the Central Intelligence Agency to Quang Nam Province in Central Vietnam, while training up and operating alongside the other battalions that moved in and out of the area over the months, Adler's group always had an ear to the ground, listening for any word of the Soviet activity. When a viable rumor appeared, they would move on their own to investigate. It wasn't until January 1968 that the CIA finally confirmed the Prince of Perseus. Fractured Jaw Memo A knockout blow. The events in Da Nang during January 1968 revealed an embarrassing vulnerability in the Fractured Jaw plan. It was immediately scrubbed before any additional damage could be done. Will be dispatched by Armed Forces Courier Service, 11 February, Honolulu Armed Forces Courier Station. Okay. Cool. Fracture drone nuclear advice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Keeping one weapons out of another's hands. As the fortunes of the U.S. military in Vietnam declined, senior military officers, including General William Westmoreland, begin to enact a top secret plan to the deployment of tactical nuclear weapons in Vietnam. Percy has learned of this plan, codenamed Fractured Jaw, as well as the storage location of one of the first bombs sent into the country. Are we looking for nukes in this one? Lawrence Sims' survival knife. Sometimes you need more than your wits. One morning in early January 1968, MAGV operator Lawrence Sims left the Nanga Air Base with USAF Armand Darren Kopp for a routine recon mission. After experiencing mechanical difficulties, their chopper touched down in a jungle clearing 15 miles outside the base. While waiting for assistance, they were ambushed by the Viet Cong and forced to flee into the jungle. Kopp was killed in combat, Sims' ammo exhausted, took Cop's knife and circled the clearing perimeter. He managed to take out three soldiers by hand before reinforcements arrived and secured the malfunctioning chopper. Sims never parted with the knife after that accident. It now hangs from the board as a good luck charm. Oh, God. The amount of cringy lines I know because the clips they've seen have ingrained themselves in my mind from Riverdale is like... Oh my god, which one is it? The... I don't fit in. That's the one that always gets some in my brain. Do I have any water left? 
I do. Launch mission, Fracture Joe. Let's look for these nukes. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. I really don't want to. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late okay. January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Mm -hmm. Word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. That's where you got the knife, bro. No details too small. A face, a name. This is... We're looking for anything that can lead us to Percy. Look at this these boys. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Aye, aye. Percy is more like Hunksius. Also, the aesthetic of all the, like, briefings is really cool. They really went camp. And it shows, and I love it. We have got a job to do, 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 do. We. Nope. That one sure went sideways. Bell. Yeah. It's time to wake up. All right. It's great time. Why? Okay. Hey, ladies. I'm just like, frags? Thanks. All oh, the lighting here being all. Uh, is all yellow and grimy. So surgical. Mm. With me, Bell. One second, I'm just experiencing. Lightning Freddy and the Filthy Apes. That's a great bun name. Festival, Peace and Love, San Francisco. Knock Stops, Life of the Stadium. We do get a job to do. Just give me one second. You keep on fucking saying that, mate. Just lay off me. I know. I maybe maybe he only says it if you're like being, you're just constantly like staying behind. That's cute packaging. And there's ammo boxes, sorted in different um, rows. That's kind of cool. What is your jacket doing here? Is that a shotgun? I... I think I should probably get this. <laughs> Grenade, I'm a fool. Uh, beer Bruin! Beer. I'm just here for the beer. When we get back on base, beers are on me. Oh, Jesus. Don't... Welcome to another day nice. in the life of Camp Haskins, oh, our little yeah. oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. Every poison gasoline? You're pretty safe here. When, Harley or Bradford? One of you. No smoking. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Oh, wait, I can... Oh my god, I can switch my weapons, I forget. Adler, give me one second. I would like to get my shoddy. Thank you, thank you, Oog. Oh, look at the boys playing ball. Was it here? Yes. Sorry, Adler. All grunts welcome. Sorry, I'm just checking out. Interstate California. I don't think we're in California now, boys. Butcher? I barely even know her. <gasps> oh my god, this paint! Angry butters! That's raw! That's... oh. Put a snake on the side. That's raw. That's really cute. Hi, Adler. Cigarettes behind your bell. Oh, I'm gonna swoon. Oh. 
that guy or me me okay me sims you know what you like slender is the magazine yikes sims cars and girlies girlies and cars interesting interesting sims oh wait I've, oh i have to talk to you oh what's this look i kind of like it Oh, oh, I know this. I know, I know, I know this helmet now. I know this. Oh, my man is stuck in mud. He's been here for like two hours and nobody came up to help him out. My dude. Guys, can we, uh, just lean on me and I'll pull, okay? No? All right. So you gotta stay here for two more hours, I guess, mate. Let's get him. Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. All right. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset that Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. All right, Ripcord great. Ripcord has been taking Nukes. a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax. We got fast flyers to provide uh. combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Walk in the park. I hope so. Headset's on. Helena Park? Check you. We're ready. <gasps> Look at the, the Badger, nine, helmet one. paint. Go. Cobra. Badger 9 or 2, clear to go. Badger 9 or 3, rotors up. We're Bird, gonna go, get flat. With this game's own playing. It's, all sitting comfortably. it's such a it's fucking oh, bunger. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the With enthusiasm, the most Sims. beautiful cheekbones known to Our mine. source is right. We could be looking at an Intel gold mine. Oh. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, Roger that. Oh, Moving to oh I'm on the guns now. Okay. RPG! Talk to, light him up. There, in the bell tower. Fuck you. Bell tower? My name. Oh. Focus fire in the courtyard. Got him, got him, got him. Sorry guys, we're committing some serious war crimes right now. My apologies, we shouldn't be here. Oh, we're getting out. You and me, Bell. Let's do this. I wish we didn't, but you know, this is the game. This is, uh, we're in Vietnam again and again. Sorry, sorry. Streets ain't exactly empty. Your priority is Sorry, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Was that an RPG? Oh. Oh. Turn up the music now. There will be some bunger melody. If it's gonna be a bunger, but it's gonna be a copyrighted bunger, it might just completely fucking nuke whatever recording I have of this afterwards, so I prefer not to. Not copyright. Oh, okay. I trust you. I trust you, Thunder. You did lie to me about the, um, reading the mission log, so... Ah! Ah! Hey, 
Sorry, I don't speak Vietnamese, so I can't read the titles, but it looks nice. And I'm gonna remember that. He said to let them, you know, have a go, but... Guys, sorry, my bad. Go, Bell. I'm right behind. You. Oh, there's still people in there. Pretty good. Beautiful blanket. I was appreciating the blanket on your wall. You absolute little bastard. Sorry, man. I should. It's your house. I shouldn't. I. I shouldn't. I'm walking with my shoes on and all. I really apologize. Oh, the vase! Oh, it didn't crack! Ugh. Hey, guys! Give me some cover! <laughs> Alright. Good roll. Is she... Oh, boy! Is she open it yet? Dude. <laughs> He's in a Family Guy death pose. Have you seen this? He's literally in a Family Guy death pose. I... Sorry, I'm good. It's Vietnam. Stay in there. We didn't even family guy then. What's that? Sorry, it's so shiny and I was like, I'll go. Red door. Looks like looking for a needle in a haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. All right. Oh, Jesus. Adler, we confirmed it. Nice. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's That's see who the fuck they've been talking but... to. Mission Russian. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right. 
Oh, glasses. I could get glasses. They're expensive. All right, let's go rejoin the armada and get this fucking asset. All right. There's a. war but i wish he didn't i i he was like tiptoeing so little and i was like he's just trying not to wake me up but i wasn't i i, I, I i'm fine i'm emotionally well i am bell and you know this is um i'm a hardened i'm hardened i'm hard why are the vases in uh those little cages it looks like birds should be in there doesn't it We are still under heavy fire. VC are breaching the perimeter. What is your status? We're inbound now, Ripcord. Get that asset ready for transfer. Roger that. Hi, Badger. One. We'll keep the asset safe in, as long as we can. Ripcord. Thank out. you. Woohoo! The takeoffs always feel like I'm going. Uh. VC are all over the mountains. No sense here. Yeah, the takes off and block. All targets are valid. Tear them up, Bell. Wait, rockets? Behind. Where? Behind? Space ascent, miniguns, the sun. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where? Fuck yeah. yeah, whenever you ascend in Black Ops game, it feels like your spirit is getting yanked out of you. Oh, the music is a bunger, isn't it? Watch the cage! Bastards are dug in! Open fire! Yeah, that's really cool. Hold them up ground targets! Yep, Pick them off, Bill. Hell yeah. I didn't see guns in there, so I'm committing war crimes. Don't mind me. They've got those supply trucks! Every one of them rearms the enemy! I got- I got all four, I think. Badger Niner one this is Ripcord. You need to push back the VC reinforcements before we're overrun. Be advised, we have multiple birds in the air. Watch yeah. your fire! Enemies dug in all around the hillside! We don't have a hope in hell of landing if we don't take out those positions! Light him up! Yeah? Badger Niner 1. Our scouts have identified a significant enemy force approaching from the south. Divert to intercept. From the south? I don't have a... I don't have a... Compass? Oh, that's Badger. That's... That's our babies. Take out those AA drugs! Uh, 
God, I'm so bad at the helicopter missions every time. Innocent! Oh my god, I killed so many innocent people, probably. Just anything that's a structure I shot. Record. You Adler? Mac V Sox? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. They're the one who just snagged us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Me. Now. Godspeed, Commander. This. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We've that yes. desperate already. Not yet. Wait, have we stalled a nuke from the Soviets or is it our nuke? I think in the end it said that we want to set up a nuke, right? RPG! Somehow Perseus knew. Fuck. Wouldn't a nuclear weapon explode right about now? Sims, Bell, you okay? <laughs> Fuck. Well, let loose with that goddamn turret before we're overrun. Yeah. We good? Oh, we need air support. Oh, that Bell, fucking hurt. Air. Well, we just we just crashed in a helicopter, so everything hurts. Grab a weapon. Keep them the fuck off us. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Oh, I don't like this. I can't aim with this very well. Not like I can. Oh wait, give me a different one. Thanks. Where's that air support? Here it comes. Still with us? The jets? I have one hand on the nuke, one hand on my boy. You think we can call this a success, Sims? <laughs> At least the nuke didn't go off. Yeah, I don't fucking know how, mate. More importantly, I don't. We got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. All right, what's the job? I don't want any more jobs. I want to. I don't. You know what? I'm tired. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. Oh, yeah, the you intel that, let that happen, I picked Hudson. up. Don't yeah. say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing CIA the CIA safe house, the London, but 1981 One Bell. One in particular stands out. And oh, Tom that get-up! A Helen a Russian arms arc. dealer. Helena Park. East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. Hell yeah. 
Are you eating Chinese food, mate? Lazar? We'll talk on the drive, Mel. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, just eating Chinese food. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has been noted, Agent Park. That's a murder getup, mate. With those gloves, a turtleneck, and a black leather jacket. Also, oh. Hold that thought. Oh, okay, Lazar. Can I talk to you, Sims? Here to entertain me. Uh, it seems like Vietnam defeated you. That's not true, right? Are you being funny? Did we not just go through this? Look, I could say so many things right now. No. Forget about it. It's good. Yeah, that's not a nice thing to say. You still operate in the field. Only when they tell me not to. This assignment, I'm mostly gonna run the shop. Whatever you guys need, I'll make sure you have it. You oh, see, nice. I got a list of connections longer than the Great Wall. Adler needs it, I can procure it. No exceptions. All right. What if I asked for a flamethrower? War crimes. Sure, I could get that. No problem. Oh, all right. What about a recoilless rifle? Easy. I can have that in-house by next week. How about a custom-built twin-engine attack helicopter? Uh, clever. But I wasn't joking earlier. That's a hell of a request, but give me enough time and I can have one parked outside. All right. I'll take it all. Okay. Now, how you gonna pay for that? Uh, last I heard, Adler cuts the checks around here. Yeah, just ask him. Unless you got a suitcase full of cash, I'm gonna consider your request null and void. What's the... Yeah. Yeah, he's here. Doc, I think you want this one. Collections? You bound some Heart? checks again? I'll take it back here. Oh. Hey. Oh. What? You think everything's about you now? Adler. That's one perspective. I thought it went pretty damn well. What did you think would happen with him? With who? He always did have the most remarkable sense of humor. Right. Oh, I'm not. I'm just by the side. Now don't worry, we're stocked. I've got enough to last at least a couple months. We're gonna be here a couple months. Did you just call me an option? No, I'm just listening. I see. Well, you have yourself a wonderful fucking day, too. Bye. That's a good way to finish a conversation. Oh, I'm just looking at the ceiling. I like the ceiling here. All right. Sims. Hello. Hello. What do you know about Volkov? Shit. I tried to track that motherfucker years ago when he went to Italy for a douchebag conference. Mm. He's slick. If you see him, tell him Lawrence Sim says hello. Uh, what did you guys request me for this? Oh, sorry, why did you guys request me for this team? <sighs> you think one person from the crown would be enough. But I guess someone really wanted this outfit to be international. Oh, because I chose my six. Thanks. Come again. I like this desk. Um, Adler? <laughs> nice work producing that name, Bell. You're welcome. The Soviet intel I found at Da Nang was in the archives. We archive everything. CIA is like my ex-wife. Won't throw a damn thing away. The trick is knowing what's buried in that is there any current you need wife? when you need it. Um... Okay. All right, but 
Wouldn't it be... Before they we had this like whole flashback session, wouldn't it make more sense for us to go through the files regarding that mission? But I guess if there is a mess in the CIA, I don't know. Interesting. Did, Did you I ever see, see Perseus? No. That photo on the board is all we have, and it's more than 20 years old. Handsome man. I hope the years weren't kind to him. Oh my god. What was that call about? Bell, you're a spy, but let's keep it outside the building, not inside. Understand? I shouldn't have asked that. I feel like Bell wouldn't have asked that in this situation, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm curious. We'll leave within the hour. Great turtleneck as well. Hi, Helen. That until you found in Da Nang was treasure trove. Find anything else in the intel other than the name? Well, you tell me. After we dug it up, you spent two full hours decrypting everything inside. You seem to think Volkov was the name to pay attention to. I was decrypting everything inside? But I was... Was I? Alright. I decrypted... Yeah, I decrypted all of the intel myself. Are you feeling alright, Belle? That's one of the reasons we wanted you on this team. Not even the CIA's best cryptographers have been able to crack that dossier. But the... You're I... special, Belle. But it also sounds like you need a nap. Was there a bit in the cutscene posted that I missed, or was it just because I had like, maybe Bell had like a trauma response from thinking about Vietnam and then just kind of, maybe, wait, would it be a thing, mm? would it be a thing for our perks, maybe, that we like, um, I know, because our perks are like, oh, focus on the mission and rabid, <laughs> but it would make sense if, like, digging up a traumatic memory, like being in a Vietnam War, would maybe... Ha like, you would have a cutoff post-it and you would, like, block out in between the stuff. But they just make us play through the mission to have the information towards decoding, I guess? I I I'm feeling iffy because she said, it's also like you need a nap. And then there's, like... The, the little dramatic sting in the background played, and I was like, wait a minute. Have you worked with Adler before? We have, for a short while. We share a common interest. Though to be frank, he's not the most pleasant person I've worked with. <laughs> he's, he's intense. What else should I know about Adler? No more than you need to, I'll tell you that. Avoid personal questions. And whatever you do, never ask him about his scar. How did Adler get that scar? It's such a shithead question. I'm kind of... Do you really think that if I knew, I would tell you? I think you would tell me about Adler's scar. You're cute. That's a very nice way of her saying, Oh, you moron. You silly belly. Yeah, are we numbering like Mason? The fact that you can ask makes me think that's on purpose. Yes. 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 Stay curious, I'll do cover soon. I'm going to ask about his scar now. Yeah, I'm gonna just run into Adler. He's like, so, it's a sexy scar. I think all, I'll be real. I think all scars are sexy. Anything else about Anton Volkov? Born on the coast of Leningrad, never travels when the sun's out. He has impeccable taste in scotch and medieval torture devices. I think he'd love the UK. <laughs> I plan on giving him a personal tour. I love Helen. Is it Helen or is it Helena? Just because isn't Helen Park also a Lusta girl's name? Oh, he's a vampire. Well, that's basically what all of the um, people in the UK are. My pleasure. Good talking to you. All that get up park as well. Those, those. 
those gloves, that jacket. With it. She loves a good, um... She had a vest earlier, didn't she? Dude, I am gonna change my whole wardrobe to look like this now. She, she is the moment. What is this? Change channel. Mr. Reagan! Oh. Shooting some people. Let's turn it off. Uh, maybe I'll read the evidence after the mission. In addition to your next mission, the optional side missions, Operation Red Circus and Operation Chaos, have been unlocked and are now available on the evidence board. Dude, I'm into this. I think genuinely this is the first time in COD where I'm like, I kind of want to do the side missions. Perseus, Fracture Joe. Uh, the team pursues a rogue CIA officer, Robert Aldrich, who is helping Perseus set up a spy network within the United States. Operation Red Circus. Alex Mason, CIA operative. Oh, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna be... Oh, it's Mason's missions? Oh, I like Mason. I love Mason. He's a he's a good traumatized little, little silly belly. But I love Belle. Whatever is going on with Belle, I'm into it. What's the next mission? The Berlin-based Russian mobster Anton Volkov, oh yeah, the vampire man, was linked to Perseus. It's kill or capture. We're gonna capture because Helen wanted to capture. Head on over the board. Uh, okay. Give me once. Why is a is a red room available? This is where the um the TV turned on, right? But it's not turning on again. Where are these photos? I just this is the Amsterdam search. I'm so on like I'm so suspicious with whatever's going on with that TV. The way your interest immediately vanished when you saw Mason's name. I I, I love Mason. I, I'm just so into the story of this game that I'm like, I appreciate all the old dudes, but I'm into this team. I love this team. You know? I want them to have a moment in the sun. I'm just gonna... Check through stuff. Let me in. Yeah. Right. I am gonna quickly go and make myself. Um... Oh, I still have some coffee left. Yep, that's strong. Um, I'm gonna get some more water because I've been out of water for a little bit. So a five minute break. Everybody get hydrated and we're gonna be beer right back. Oh, another thing that points to Belle having something going on is the fact that they say Park is familiar. No, 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 because Park and um, Belle, because it's because of the background I've chosen. Because my background is MI6 and Park is also the part of the MI6. Uh, so we're both MI6 losers. I think that's why. So that doesn't make me as suspicious as like that weird bit that we just had. They say that, but now I'm not sure. I guess so. But it's also whenever like Belle saying, oh, you look familiar, seems like a, a pickup line. Right, I'm gonna be right back, get some water, everybody get hydrated, and uh, we regroup in five minutes.
Hello? Has it been five minutes? Has it been more than five minutes? I don't think it's been more than five minutes, right? I made some tea. I got some grapes. Mmm. I haven't had dinner, so. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Also, I don't have more coffee because apparently it could have been upsetting my stomach, which I hate because I love coffee. But can we talk about? I'm gonna put on. No, I don't want to look at myself. But I want to show you a, a mug changed, so it's not um, it's not a gameplay accurate mug, but. Look at it! It's Ahsoka, it's Rey, it's Leia, it's Padme, Hera, and Rose. And has tea in it. Just has like chamomile tea. I just love this mug, it's so pretty. We're going back into the game capture. Uh, should I do one of the side missions after the game stops freaking out over me all tabbing? So listen up. An ex-CIA operative named Robert Aldrich has gone rogue. Okay. Langley believes this asshole is working with Perseus to assemble a spy ring inside U.S. borders. Okay. We recently acquired an encrypted floppy disk from one of his encrypted agents that we believe contains disc. everything we need to know about his network. Aesthetic. If we can get to it. We know where Aldrich is and can move on him any time. But if we don't get into this disk first, we may nail Aldrich but leave his network intact. You may find some intel out on missions that could help crack the code on this disk. Keep an eye out. <gasps> okay. Uh, he looks like um. Why did I forget our man's name in country for the old man? Is it Javier Bardem? Country for old men. No country for old men. Why do I say Javier? Javier Bardem! I remembered it! Yeah. Oh, I can't play it yet. I need to have all the clues. Okay. But I was six has spent the last year tracking a group of embedded Soviet agents within multiple European governments. These agents could be strategically positioned to set up a larger Soviet plan for Europe. During a recent operation, we acquired information about this group's structure. There are three unidentified key agents leading it, and their handler is the Soviet Major Vadim Rudnik, a name previously connected to Perseus. We have Rudnik's position and can move on him, but if we don't first identify his three lead agents, we risk losing our chance to take all of the embedded agents down. Check out our list of suspects here. Special evidence you find on missions will help identify the three lead agents. I'd advise figuring out who they are before going after Rudnik. Okay, so I have to just collect evidence in the main missions and then I can play those. You're saying? Also, hi, Vanilla You said. WTD, you said a fruit salad over here with grapes as well. I was like, I just had a couple of grapes. No, on a fruit salad. Okay, next mission then. Breaking the wall. The intel from Danang mentioned the name Anton Volkov, revealing a connection to Perseus. One of the Volkov's minions, Franz Kraus, was set to meet with Volkov in East Berlin. It was the perfect opportunity to shed some light on Perseus's plans. Examine evidence. Put a mantle. Volkov. Okay. I mean, I love the glasses. I'll be real. A Russian mafioso in Berlin, once a puppeteer from abroad, Anton Volkov now spends significant amounts of time within the German Democratic Republic, drifting between East Berlin and Stral Stralsund. Rausund? Waterfront. Prostitution rings, drug trafficking, weapon sales, few underground markets have gone unmarked by his hand. His name is in, his name in the encrypted Perseus dossier must have significance. Photo of Franz Kraus. Uh, a slow corruption from from what the UK's military intelligence section so MI6 has gathered. Okay, I, I would just like to say, I, I don't know why I had this moment of confusion for, for a moment. I was like, oh, MK6 isn't British. It was like, it is British. 
at the at the beginning when I was like, oh, like M like MI6 Europe. It's not letting me UK, but it's Europe. And I was like, no, it's not. I started doubting myself. Anyway, I don't. I just had a moment. <laughs> Section. Uh, how are you liking the game so far? I literally just started playing it yesterday for the first time. We're at the exact same point. Are we? I am really. It's so aesthetic. I also love all the, um, like cold war espionage kind of visual shit it makes me really happy it's it's just aesthetically pleasing you know uh france curse is one of the blah 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 uh yeah uh, let's start over a slow corruption from what the uk's military intelligence mi6 has gathered france kraus is one of anton volko's key pawns in east berlin kraus lives and works close to the wall often passing back and forth between east and west berlin Presumably, he is Volkov's chief courier of information and cash. Kraus grew up in Dresden before relocating to Paris for a decade after graduation. Apparently, his chief aspiration was to make a respected name for himself, but during that period, MI6 believes Kraus first became involved in organized crime. In 1972, he returned to Germany, where he has remained ever since, falling further into darkness. Not great for Franz, little boy. Uh, surveillance reel of Franz Kraus, trailing the middleman. Franz Kraus has been under the microscope of MI6 for two years now, ever since an agent recorded him during surveillance of Leon Six Fingers Dubray, great nickname. The focus of attention immediately changed from Dubray to Kraus. Translated from German, if you think I'm going to unintelligible my son by going around Volkov, you're insane. Find yourself another lawyer. Um, East Berlin meeting reminder, 11.30 p.m. Uh, catching the big fish, one of Jason Hudson's East Berlin assets, Gret uh, Greta Keller, has joined the team of an opportunity to get to Anton Volkov. According to a source within Greta's network, Volkov is scheduled to meet with Franz Kraus at a bar several blocks away from Kraus's apartment. Greta will arrive incognito at the bars in advance, where she will give the team any additional information she has to share. Uh, oh, so we meet Greta, nice. You bought newspaper clipping. If you can't go over, go under. According to a recent column from a West Berlin newspaper, the frequency of border crossing between East and West Berlin has recently increased, with many attempts exploiting the underground tunnels of the U-Bahn train network. Um, the vulnerability of that system is the reason Adler and his team plan to use it to get across the wall, even with the increased police presence and the close... Sorry. Even with the increased police presence in the closed stations, careful planning should allow access to East Berlin without conflict. Surveillance reel of Franz Kraus. Trailing the middleman, Franz Kraus has been under the microscope of MI6 for two years now. Evans is an agent recording him during surveillance of Leon Six Fig. Wait, no, I'm reading the same thing. Sorry, sorry. Do I feel <laughs> this feels like being in a history lesson, though very amusing teacher. Okay. So, so sorry, turn back your books, turn back your books. Uh, blueprint of Franz Krause's apartment. Squint and look at the middle thing. Doesn't that look like a fucking Among Us silhouette? With the, with the backpack bit and all? That's an Among Us man. That's your, that's your activation code, Among Us. Among Us, Among Us. I am also tapping on my screen in the exact middle like you're gonna see it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Among Us, Among Us. It, that's a nice apartment question mark. I mean, it seems roomy. I don't... Wait, is the top just um the hallway, right? <laughs> no, Among Us. That's what Mason, that's, that's a modern Mason for sure. Um, Home sweet home. This is a recently acquired blueprint of Franz Krauss's apartment near the wall in East Berlin. If the meeting between Krauss and Anton Volkov goes as expected, it might not be necessary. However, the team needs to be ready for all contingencies. If the, C if the CIA needs additional intel within Krauss's home, they will be ready. Tranquilizer gun. Non-lethal infiltration. Lawrence Sim... Lawrence Sims keeps a few of these stocked in the safe house for special occasions. 
and the case of the East Berlin mission, he recommends keeping one handy during infiltration into the city, in the event that the team needs to trail Anton Volkov or Franz Krauss into a tight and into a tight environment with innocent bice What the wrong tone of voice to use there into a tight environment with innocent bystanders present. Yep, let's move on. Let's launch mission. So cool. Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. Mm. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Pablo Escobar? Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Krauss. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. Here's a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. <laughs> it really is The station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Falkov shows his face, it's killer capture. We should capture him, though, because Bart told us to capture. And I trust Bart. Also, can we talk about how in Narcos they made Pablo Escobar so fucking hot? I watched, like, a couple episodes, but I was like, that man is unbelievably attractive. Also, it does have Pedro Pascal, so. Brick in the wall, Bell, 1981, We're East Berlin. Berlin. Get ready. Thank you so much, Vanilla Sky, for the <laughs> sub. <laughs> you sweetheart. <laughs> Modern Berlin. Smoking on the tube? It really is the 80s. Anna, the bank car is clear. We're good to go. Okay. I love your jacket. Is this us? Doritos. Doritos. Run. Trademark. I love. As soon as the train slows down, yeah. you and I'll jump off. All right. Bart, Lazar, wait till the next station. Bell and I'll track down Kraus. All right. Train slowing down. Let's go to work. Oh, sorry. I, inappropriate of me to say, but it, it looked incredibly incredible. You, you're incredible. I like you. You're a cool dude. Okay, I'm, Bell, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's go. I know. I know. All right. Here we oh, go. Oh, this is the fitted Anastasia. Jump. Oh, dislocated knee. Dislocated knee. Careful. East German guards still patrol these abandoned stations. Ugh. Patrol ahead. We can use a train to slip past. Shit. Moving on the platform. Body shield. Take it slow. Oh, God. Finding cover. the door nobody nobody has have to see that come on this is the way out our calendar i have a cut calendar my grandpa sent me one last year but i still have it up on the wall because i'll i think it's nice Gross. this is gritty this is where the turtles live adler a rat one rat <laughs> You go. What's the deal, Yeah. I'm going to the I'm even my ausweis. That's a spagabit. Now. I just shot that blur. Nice work. Let's clean this up. Is it nice work? I literally just shot you. Okay. <laughs> Bell.
Well, I'm busy having a bi-panic, Adler. <laughs> Remy Ratatouille is there? Cross should be coming oh. through the checkpoint soon. Let's Look at this sad done. frog. I love him. This sad frog with anarchy symbol in his eyes? Mark, Lazar, Sorry. almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. This is very spooky. This is incredibly spooky. Yeah? Careful of the spotlight. Adler, I'm just following you, mate. Oh, look at Berlin. Place down, I'll give him that. The graffiti is sick. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. Krauss will be coming through any time. Look for Krauss with your camera. It's a free camera. Careful of the spotlight, but Damn. I'm a star! Security's even tighter than usual. Yeah. If they detain Kraus, he could miss his meeting with Volkov. Um. Near the checkpoint. Man with the briefcase. Is that him? Man with the... Man... Checkpoint. Oh, yeah, that. Sorry. Oh, man with a briefcase. Doesn't look like him. Good job, that's our man. That's gross. <laughs> yeah, that's him! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, work it. Work it, babe. Sorry. I have a mission. On I me. Yeah. Where? Oh, yeah. Somebody's life came on. Wait, I just want to see. Park. Kraus just crossed the wall. What's yeah. your status? Okay, I'm coming. Oh, yeah. The Czar and I are at the exit point, awaiting your arrival. Anika. Roger that. I love that we're getting a lot of different. Our intel um, says Kraus and Volkov will meet at the bar posters. across the street. Mm hmm. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. Okay. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Hi, man. What a day, huh? Well. <laughs> The huge blue umbrella. Blue umbrella. Umbrella? No. Bell, find the contact. What do you think I'm doing? I don't see it. Oh, yeah, blue umbrella. Hello. Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Kraus is at the table over my right shoulder. That's your right. That's the listening device! No fucking way. Audio is loud and clear. Now we wait for Volkov. Hudson didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov. Mm. Mm. Uh, I think Arabelle is kind of focused on the mission. And what do you know about the courier over there? Kraus is ecstasy, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The I wouldn't say he looks wholesome. Um, how long will Volkov be in Berlin? Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. The police are out in large numbers tonight. One of my informants was picked up in a random sweep just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. Would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. Or silenced. They're holding him here. Okay. 
I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Shane. Heads up, I think Volkov's walking in. Who is Volkov? Oh my god, the heat waves from the heat are behind there. Yes, that's a deed I didn't notice. You are followed. Go home and wait for a call. Bell, we've got trouble. There's two studs entering the bar. Shit. Get out of there now! Get the device. Jason, go through the bathroom. I'll hold them off. Yeah, get it. Somebody's really throwing up. New plan. Meet outside Krause's apartment. He's still on second to Volkov. Yeah. Oh, thank God I looked at the blueprints. Stay hidden to avoid detection. Enemies will be alerted when this icon flashing red and meter is full. Oh my God. It's the, it's the LC number mission again. Oh, I was so bad at it too. Uh, a big alone of all our alone vibes. Yes. Yes. Black Ops Cold War is so good, I think. And you're very correct. Payday moment. I'm so... Oh, God. It's Assassin's Creed portion of the campaign. The one thing that always, like, I think of when I think of Assassin's Creed is the escort mission. Because nothing, like, boils my blood harder than NPC who looks slower than me. All right. Let's go. Ich vorne gleich oben den Platz da drüben. I'm gonna need more time. Wir waren auf dem Heimweg. Yeah. See? Rally up with the Dark Park without me. I'll update you when I can. Ich brauche noch Freund. Wir hatten ein paar zu viel in der Kneipe. Die beide. Schon gut, schon gut. Aber sie können meine Wohnung von hier aussehen. How do I? Ich frage nicht noch einmal. What do you mean? Okay. Careful, Bell. The stars here are everywhere. Fuck. Ich tue Ihnen nichts. Ich möchte nur ein paar Fragen stellen. Was ist mein? Ist er weg? Vielen Dank. Ich bleibe, glaube ich, so lange hier, bis die Stasi weg ist. What? You're right. Say okay, okay. A nice job, mate. You were, you should be proud. Sorry, I'm here uh, and I killed a man. Um, he was a cop, though. So. Keep a low profile. We already have enough That's cool. Fuck, 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 Shit. Spark, give me a zip rep. 
I'm in a storefront facing Craft's apartment. He just got home. You? The stars here come in the area. I need to lay low. Yes. I'll catch up with you when the heat dies down. Bell, get to park yeah. the car ASAP. Dankeschön. Ich untersuche das. I don't entirely understand how to pick locks in this. Can somebody explain it to me? Wait, free? Yeah. Oh, find the right spot. Okay. <coughs> just, just let me go. <coughs> Please. I told you. Is that honey <coughs> treasure? I've seen no picture. <laughs> So looking for you. Yeah, I'll help you out, mate. I just need uh so is mate. I just I just karate chopped them. Uh I love that the, it, it prompted me to read before it prompted me to kill him. Uh subject 0710 has so far proven incredibly resistant to our interrogation methods that a recent breakthrough has revealed some interesting intelligence under extreme duress. Duress? Duress, I guess. <laughs> uh the subject claimed to be working for the KGB. But he also claimed to be working with a mall, playing the Americans for fools, in his words. On further questioning, he recounted all previous statements and refused to speak more. We're seeking interrogations for the day to let him sweat it out and follow up with some leads. Interrogation to resume after Hans Weber. Okay, we'll burn that. Don't worry, mate. Hey, Richter. Um, talk. What happened? I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I I've done everything by the book. Uh, rescue. Shoot, you are careless and can't be trusted. We're done with you. Note, how long have you been looking for the KGB? Rescue. Thank you for saving my life. Greta helped us. I feel like our bell will pay back what was paid to, to him, what was given to him originally. Um, yeah, they didn't, they didn't hear the scream on the stairs. God, I know. Greta asked us to save them and Greta was our informant. I'll be fine. Okay, mate. Ich kenne von der Arbeit, aber Freunde sind nicht dabei. Er hat uns ihren Namen beim Verhörverrat. Das ist unmöglich. Ich habe nichts Verbotenes getan. Wir haben einen Abzubild. Can I get in? I don't know how that worked, but I'll fucking take it. Was zur Hölle? Scheiße. Was zur Hölle? Nächster. Ah. And a little kiss on the head. Uh, and here, you can sit. Come on, you, you sit down, mate. You seem so tired. <laughs> you guys are knuckered. Oh, oh, you know. Uh, maybe this chair, maybe this chair, this chair is so sleepy, sleepy, isn't it? Uh, just, I'll sit down on the book. Yeah, now that's much better. Look at you taking a little nappy nap. Oh, yes. Oh, two guys with a plot. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I swear to God. Come on, man. <laughs> Go here. I don't. You know what? You. You know what? This man is sitting so pleasantly, nobody will fucking know. And you are really blowing it for me. Oh, I can't go up.
Hey, don't worry, I'm... Where am I going? Meet Lazar. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I shouldn't have bashed it, but I got scared. And I misclick. Oh, Lazar. Thank fuck. Good work. I don't think anyone saw you. Follow me. Yeah, nobody saw me for sure. Stay quiet. I'm detected! I don't want Be real. I don't think I deserve that. Oh my that dude was two kids in a trench coat. Oh my god, that's why you had to show him more than once. Oh god. It's PB and J, penis, brain, and jaw. Oh god. Beautiful door. Oh my god. Hot owns Jeman Geshen. Maple Louis Diesel Love Oliver Biff! Knockworts. Mmm. Any sausage? Biscuits! Porter! Look at the poor. Oh, look at the picture of a porter. Maple looks like she has a little mask on. Oh my god! I love them all! Did anyone see us? So they are missing cats. Oh no! No, I'll find them. I'll find them all. That's a side mission. Find all of them. Oh my god, look at the crackling in the wall, like the blend between the um the wood and the wall. It looks so nice. Right? Look at the look at the little little edging. Lazar is speaking. I don't know he said something, man. I don't I was more interested in cats. Sort of. Where is he? Oh piss! Nice garden. Hi. I'm sorry I missed what you said. I really wish I didn't. I feel bad. That's a beautiful workspace. We're back. A car pulled up near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Krauss is on the telephone. Bell, get eyes on Krauss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's not Kraus. Where's the telephone bit? What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Volkov wants Kraus's briefcase. We should place a tracker in it. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Kraus's apartment. Avoiding Kraus and his wife might be the greater challenge. Where is he? Bell volunteers. While Bell's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. There? Bart, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best thing. Lovely. Yeah, I get some infiltrating. I completely didn't look at the window until he was walking away, so... Are we not? What are we doing? You're going? The Stasi are stopping everyone. Be careful. Well, I saw Kraus writing in the ledger. See if you can find it. Hello. Bell, if you're spotted by Kraus or his wife, the mission is over. Oh, just me! Oh, the cars are here too. You can drink the wife if you have to, but Kraus must go to the meeting. I'm about to phone Kraus's apartment. Get ready to enter. Nice work. Now find the briefcase. Hello? Tut mir leid, hier gibt es keine Freya. Oh. 
Sorry. Bye -bye. Put me alive, mine for a line. Where can I drop her? It that seems natural. He's writing a ledger or something? Is it in the other room? You can put her on the sofa. Okay, yeah, I'll... Uh, yep. Come here. Oh. Oh, yeah, I have a... Oh, just lay down, baby. Yeah. Have a little nappy nap. Oh, I put a pillow under her head! Oh my god. We are such a good little boy. Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten... Can I trank the kid? I think that will might fuck him all up. Papa, kommst du? Kraus is leaving his office. Hide. What? Where? What's dead it, Zena? Come gleich rauf. Don't let Kraus see you. This is just close to the close to the close to the close to the no! You're leaving evidence. Son of a gun. <sighs> hey, it's the kids' room. Oh, a ducky. I don't think you would stash any evidence in this kid's room, will Yep, yep, yep. The Fuck, I'm trying, man. Fuck, 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 shit, fuck. Dude. You, you, you said he was writing something here. He was writing something here, right? Got a briefcase. Bell, have you found the briefcase? The nuke. Therefore, does what appear to be a nuke? Just plant the tracker and get out of there. Game over. It's not. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't explain how they got to the materials. 
I brought them to you. That makes this much less unpleasant for you. Perseus has been looking for this one. Then you let Perseus know I captured them? Kraus, you slime bag. We have greater Keller as well. Her own colleague read it out. Shit! You spineless piece of shit. I I'm sorry, Greta. KGP's pockets are I should have killed you, you son of a bitch. Finally. You measly fucking rat. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. Go fuck yourself. The aggressive side of Bell is coming out. She gets it easy. Do not tempt me to bring out my toys. I will ask again. Who do you work for? I'm not saying shit. What kind of fool are you? You think you will die with dignity here? <laughs> That's the only kind of fucking death I will accept. Son of a bitch. So, but Greta died because of me because I saved that slime bug. She she did ask me to. I'll secure the case. Get Volkov. Thank you, part. Fuck! 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 Maybe I'll be able to sprint. That's not how that's not how code games work. I don't know. I think. Given is a gun and a prayer. Lazar. Oh my god! Can you not? are not forgotten. Jesus. So. So? Shut the fuck At up. Last. Bell, on behalf of MI6, thank you. Volkov is ours. Mm. More than he deserves. On behalf well, let's get the hell out I'm, of I'm part of the squad. I was in the my six. God. The information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. Perseus smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Oh, the boys! Bell, boys, 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 boys. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, you thought- I know! I thought for a second it was the kid in the closet! The one who was crying! I was like, God! 
red light, green light, Bell, Ukraine, USSR, um, I'm not picking up an 1981. Chatter. You're in the clear woods. Copy that, Park. Stay on comms. Keep Mason and Adler on standby. All right. Let's go. Wait, am I Bell now? Wait. Am I Bell now? I'm gonna guess I'm Bell. Oh. Okay, I can do one more mission before my my brain goes off. You're Bell, okay. Bell, we need to move. Yeah, oh, well, thanks. I'm Bell. It's me. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shit, Park. I plan to stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Persis has planned. <laughs> You're trying to win against soon. Park with Snark? Be hiding anything inside. Absolutely not. Snap a picture. Reds. Ops want to see this. Oh, I love the camera so much. And get it all in frame. Oh, what the hell he? Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. I am choose your target. Smoking a ciggy. Caught you in the F me. Photo ops over. What's that? Holy hell, where'd you learn to shoot like that? Take point and, and down nam, baby. I'll hang back That's not a good thing to say. Wait, what? Oh, I'm going. You're covering, of course. Why the why the fuck not? pictures of anything that looks important. Maps, blueprints, whatever you can find. Nice blueprint. Into the base. I don't trust the TVs in Black Ops universe. Look at this grime. That's beautiful grime. <gasps> and like the the paint looks very piled on. That's nice. Move up. Oh, bye, Ernie. Have a good day. Or night. Find a way to the main building. I'll trail and disable the perimeter alarm. Into the main. Oh god. Quick thinking. Shit. Patrols approaching my position. They'll find a way in. I'll follow around. Okay. try? Cisto? Nie cisto. I'm afraid to walk because that'll be the moment he turns around. Out of clear view. Ah, 
pile them up, pile them up, pile them up, I'll pile them up. Where am I going? Over there. Oh, this dude is just laying like that in the middle. Surrender so quiet for now. But I've still no word from Woods. Stay the course and get inside. Yep. Let's stay quiet now. Let's just keep it all. Why did I run? Wait for the APCs to pass. Oh, that's where. Okay, I can see it now. Thanks, mate. You lost something. Ugh, Magnog. Park, Bell found us a way inside, but we don't got a lot of time. Then get moving. No arguments here. Undetected again, the dude was laying in the middle of a tarmac in the family guy death position. I wouldn't call that un uh, undetected, but you know what? I I'll take what you're giving me. to the lower deck and engage on your mark. Aye. All right, I'm set. Oh, are you? Take the guards, Bell. All clear, moving up. Was it clear? Oh, I love propaganda posters. Silly bullies. Oh. Oh, yeah. You found another sector. Shit, it says this place was built as some kind of early warning system. Missile defense. Jesus. Be ready. Could be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Yep. I'm not gonna cover you from a thousand people, but I can... An, ar an Not arcade? Not a fucking word, Bell. <laughs> wow, those 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 pants are lethal wounds. Cow catcher Bell, from space, place. inferno maze, pirate seas. It's a Spetsnaz training course. Activision River Raid. Look like fucking Pitfall. any town USA. Yeah. Why? Get a picture of that Bell. Wait, hit me with your best shot in the background. What is that? Is it a place for training drills for them? I don't understand. What the fuck is this? Fire drill. Let's hook these fuckers up. A video store? Let's go. Yeah? Is 
Snorg. Knife wood too. Oh, I want to look at all of the posters. Do I have a different gun? Yep, I do. Sports Emporium. Oh, that's a tar that's a moving target. Shit, cover me. Russian vehicle inbound. What? Intense. God bear goes to Washington. Oh, was that you? Did you see a fucking poster? Snake moon justice is cold. Whatever. Heart. Uh, but let's move. Contact on the rooftops. Right there. Welcome to Where Brother Joe. Run off to? They even have oh, red shirts. Oh, nothing sacred. <laughs> It's nothing sacred! Poor Bobby. Burger? 55p? Dude, I would go. What? Really? I guess it is the 80s, isn't it? Not dead. Give me some fucking cover, dude. Oh. Gotcha. There's targets everywhere. Nice slide, nerd. Really fucking helped you, didn't it? <laughs> what? What? You pushed me. I should just go with this, shouldn't I? Woods, I swear to God, if he won't stop pushing me, I don't know Head what to I'm gonna do. Tower. The Zar Burger? That elevator leads straight to the control tower. Oh, wait. Ammo. Where do you want me to go? Grenade! Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, I tried to try a grenade. Oh. USA and Soviet Union were at Cold Wars and the Soviets trained here to attack the USA cities. I understand the concept. I just don't think... I mean, if it happened, it's pretty dope. I don't think before... What's surprising to me is just a maquette of a whole, like, USA city. It's just fun. It's just a fun concept. That elevator leads straight to the control tower. Oh. It doesn't if I just get caught in one moment in life. Grenade! Boom! Shit, that guy looks like a handful. Gotta reload! Is he hurt? Fuck! <laughs> I slid right in my head! 
gun. Oh my god. That elevator leads straight to the control tower. I don't want to go out here. You do it. You said pick up other weapons, but you didn't say it nicely. You said like a command. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do that. Ask things of me nicely, and then I'll maybe do them. Don't be a knob. I'm Grenade. gonna make it harder to myself, just for the principle of it. Oh, that guy looks like a hit. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. I'm trying. Where are you? Oh, okay, there. God. What? Where are you shooting me from? Okay. Oh. That elevator leads straight to the control tower. Is there any more frogs here? Ugh. Grenade! I don't okay, I don't understand what happened there. Because he didn't do that I bleed out? To the what tower. the fuck is going on? Mm, no, I'm gonna be here forever Grenade. now. Somebody was mean to me, so I don't wanna listen. Does he have something on? Stoner 63. Yeah, I'll try it. Stoner? They barely even know her! Yep. Oh, nice, nice material. Marvel stuff always hits me. Oh, yep. What? Bell? I'm picking up a ton of radio chatter. What's up with that? Oh, I wish we you were. Some kind of live fire drill. Place is crawling with reds. We're still looking for intel. Bloody hell. I'm putting Mason and Adler on standby for extract. She sounds mad. Does she sound mad? I think I think she could Looks be a like bit pissed off there. that Come we uh, just are shooting up. Thanks. Jackpot. Computer central. Ooh. Let's see what the Reds are really up to. How is it in English? That'll Isolation? In that that... Start poking around. Okay. <gasps> Bell, check the mainframe computer. Yeah, but could I? I thought I could maybe pick up info. Uh, no. Mainframe computer. Do you mean this? And. Yo, get on that computer, Bell. What am I? Woods. <laughs> Welcome to the Soviet People's Warfare Analysis Archive. Yes. Tactical urban combat statistics. Tactical urban combat statistics. Restricted access. Great. That's kid stuff. Keep looking. KGB updates. KGB daily reports. Restricted access. Oh my Boring. god. What else is there? Operation Greenlight. Restricted access. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? I can try. Of course there's a password. Look around. These reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. Restricted access. I don't know. Fuck, keep looking. 
Guess Sochi. Nice. Oh, really? How'd you look, number one? We confirmed it. The nuke smuggled out of Berlin is a green light asset. It's one of ours. If that gets out, no one will know. Not even Adler's team. The stakes are too high. Oh, Highest fuck. Understatement. We're talking about an American nuke hidden beneath Berlin. That's the kind of espionage shit that I need. I want to make sure you're committed, Hudson. The play has been called. The ball's in motion. Well, if the asset learns the truth... You're worried about truth now? I'm concerned about control of the asset. The asset? If we can't control the asset, we end the asset. Game over. Okay. I'm grabbing a copy. So we Americans hit a nuke. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. Oh. Stolen nuke is American, and Hudson fucking knew. Fuck. Shit. Time to go. All right. All right. Where are you? Oh, let me just get my camera out. Uh, give my camera Park, up. Come in. Park. Hudson lied to us. He fucking lied to us. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about green light. That's what Perseus is after, and Hudson has his fingerprints all over it. Once you're breaking up, just get the hell out of there. Uh, I thought I would hop over like a good old dude, but I didn't do that. Where? I want to slide. Ah. Up ahead, they're trying to cut us off. Old man. What? Bell? What's your status? It just went from bad to worse. Just make sure Adler makes it ready at the exit. I move. I move. Yeah. I'm following. What? That's not the time for. Yeah, you look incredible in those He's shorts. Let's go. Exit. Him and I wanted to get him to shake, 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 Mike, shake, Let's but go. he didn't shake, 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 Let's Mike, go. shake.
what do you think I'm doing? Got him? Got him. Intuitive. There, I can see the exit. I'm throwing out of the door. Focus fire on those APs. I've got a floor. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't hit it. Oh, my God. What's your status? Gather everyone, Park. The whole team. Hudson's got a shit ton of explaining to do. Yeah, he does. He knew about a nuke. A USA nuke? Woods is gonna try to fucking suck him. Yes, sir. Immediately when he sees him. Oh, that's a crinkly jacket. That's nice. Suck him. Yeah! You knew the nuke was from green light. Didn't tell us. What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody stand down. Oh. This little pissing match isn't going to help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie. It's an omission of fact. All right. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced if the Reds moved on Europe, we couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure Jesus. to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high-yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. You're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. 
We suspected it was Perseus, but That's couldn't confirm it. That's fucking evil. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number Deservedly one. Deservedly so, it seems like. You wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. Yeah, he bites. Oh, Hudson, you dick. You we absolute toad. Planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau. I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Dragovich and Steiner. <laughs> Amazing. Woods. Don't You're say. Too close to this mission. Yep, not. We can afford zero fuck Don't. ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe. You put Mason in a room with a president. I'll contact and you do this. KGB insider Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever person. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking see Victor Reznov again. Don't get Mason. Don't get. Don't. Why are you putting him there? Why? Mm. Mount Yamato, 1981. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio we found the mainframe. Dimitri. What? You know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Da. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Eh. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. All right. Okay, that's it for me for today. But wh why are we sending Mason here? Can we talk about that? Because Jesus Christ. I said it before, I say it again. Big Joel Miller vibes with the Woods new look. I am really digging it. It really suits him, I think. There is no truth. Sounds like nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Confirmed. Hudson is an assassin. Hudson seems like such a... I don't know. Like, you wouldn't believe it's morally gray, but also... Uh, putting a nuke under every fucking major city in Europe? If this game plays, it takes place in 1981, does that mean David Mason is two years old, therefore can act like a baby? Grow up, Mason! <laughs> Sorry, grow up, David, you're two years old! I don't think Mason will change that outlook. <laughs> yeah, get, a, get, get Mason away from Russia, and get, get him away from presidents, and get him away from numbers. None of, none of those are doing good for him. <laughs> Somebody else is doing his taxes from now on because that man shouldn't be touching that. Um, dude, this game is so good. Like, I am, I'm so hyped to play this. It's so stylish and sleek, and I, I just love like secret agent espionage, Cold War eighties, but like all of that is ticking all of my boxes. It's been, it's been so 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 cool. Also, I love Park. Like she's she's a she's a babe Adler. All of the new team genuinely look like is incredible, and um, I like that we have old voice coming in from time to time to just kind of like, you know, tie it in into Black Ops as a whole. Ah, uh, imagine this game with original voice actors it would be amazing. I really like the current voiceover. I think they're all doing a fantastic job. I can understand that, like, when you're really, uh, like, a big fan of the previous voice of our art, like, actors, it might, um, you know, it might feel like not the same. I am loving this. I'm just really, really, really liking this. It's so fun. Um, but yeah. Oh my god. Is this your new favorite cut as of now? Um, I don't know. I mean, I haven't finished it, so I don't really have an opinion yet. 
my two favorite ones, um, my three, my, my top three right now is uh, Modern Warfare 2, the 2022 one, uh, Infinite Warfare and Ghosts. But I really like this one. So, yeah, this is so nice. This is also very, I don't know, this is very... <sighs> my cat is yelling. Can you wait two seconds? I'm just finishing up. Come in. No, don't look like you're not the one yelling. In or out? In. Brilliant. Hello. Okay. Um, it's been nice to be able to just like have fun in COD, yell about, move about, you know, just have a good time. Because I haven't really been able to do that for a long time now, so I miss this. I miss streaming. Uh, yeah, we will do more Cold War on Sunday, I think. Yeah, on Sunday, 6.30 p.m. English Standard Time. Yeah. Very... Well, my cat is yelling at me to, I think, finish up. Wait, I'll... Maybe I'll be able to see her. Yeah, you can. Hello. She's right here. Well, um, well, I'm dead. Uh, oh my god, look. She just really wants affection. My hair is a mess now. It looks kind of like spaghetti strands. I don't want to talk about it. Also, this shirt is so weird because it, like, it has so much room. But, like, the arms, I feel like, go to... I don't know. It's, I don't want to talk about it. I got it for four quid from a charity shop, so... It's fine. I think it's doing it's doing its job. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. It's been a blast, and we gotta we're gonna play more of it. I'm loving Cold War. I'm so sorry. She's just being a little baby. Um, yeah. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night wherever you are, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Do you want to say goodbye, Luna? He says goodbye.